Chapter 341 Beheading a Chosen Translator Born to be space shook as the sky was filled with saber images that seemed like an angry sea. This was the first time Long Chen had used his full strength since advancing to tendon transformation. Since his opponent already knew he was Long Chen, testing blows were already meaningless. He no longer held back, and the full strength of his physical body was brought out. The corrupt chosen was horrified. This one attack of Long Chen's had sealed all of heaven and earth, and an aura that seemed to look down disdainfully on all the world soared out of him. Most terrifying of all was that the will contained in Long Chen's saber caused all of heaven and earth to change color, a will that caused all things to bow down in front of it. That was a kind of will to destroy the heavens and exterminate the land. In front of that will, the Chosen felt as if he were no more than an ant facing off against a god. He felt incredibly minuscule and powerless. He watched as Long Chen's saber approached. It seemed like a heavenly blade that was coming to destroy the world. He was actually unable to flee, and he was filled with terror. As a Chosen, this was the first time he had felt such a feeling when facing someone in the same realm. That shocked and infuriated him. Blood Soul Sacrifice. The corrupt Chosen's forehead split apart, and a red light shot out to light up his saber. His saber began to emit a demonic light, and an endless Blood Sea appeared behind him. The instant that Blood Sea appeared, he entered his strongest combat state, causing the sea to crazily surge. Die. His blood-colored saber ruthlessly slashed onto Devil Decapitator. Boom. The ground was unable to bear that kind of power, and instantly collapsed. But both their sabers were still tightly locked onto each other. The corrupt Chosen's expression was as malevolent as a ghost, and his eyes were completely red. He was grinding his teeth furiously as he glared at Long Chen. On the other hand, Long Chen didn't display any emotion. His saber continued to face off against his opponent's saber. As I thought, not all Chosen are on the same level as Yun Luo. Long Chen shook his head. Devil Decapitator's crystal core suddenly lit up. That crystal core came from a fifth rank magical beast. Combined with the runes on Devil Decapitator, as long as he supplied enough spiritual key, it would allow Devil Decapitator to release an extremely great power. Before he had reached Tendon Transformation, his spiritual key had been very limited. He had had to cherish each strand of spiritual key, and he never activated the Crystal Core's power. That was because the amount of spiritual key required to activate the Crystal Core was equal to the amount exhausted by the Feng Fu Battle Armor. No matter how powerful the Crystal Core was, there was no way it could compare to the power of the Feng Fu Battle Armor. However, now that the amount of spiritual key he had was over 10 times greater, he no longer needed to be so penny-pinching, and could finally squander some of it. Boom. Crack. The instant he activated the Crystal Core, the Corrupt Chosen felt as if a huge mountain was crushing down on him. Originally, Devil Decapitator had already cut a notch into his saber. Now that Long Chen released this terrifying strength, his weapon was no longer able to endure it and was cut in two. That Chosen reacted instinctively, retreating the instant his saber broke. However, Long Chen's saber still cut across his chest, causing blood to spurt out. If he had been half a step slower, Long Chen's saber would have directly cut him in two along with his saber. Whether it was the righteous or corrupt disciples, seeing that blood flowing out of the corrupt Chosen's chest, they all turned lifeless. A Grand Chosen was unable to receive a single blow from Long Chen. Who would have imagined such a result? It was obvious to anyone that this Chosen had released his full strength, and that he was clearly extremely powerful. But this person, who was so strong that none of them could even get close to him, had been thwarted by Long Chen multiple times without even having the strength to fight back. Drip. 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 Blood was slowly dripping from his wound now. That sound was as loud as a drum in this silent crowd, heavily smashing into everyone's hearts. Long Chen swung Devil Decapitator up. He praised Kang Miing inside. Although the material Devil Decapitator was made of wasn't that great, and although many small nicks had been smashed into it due to the hammers from the passageway, the craftsmanship that had gone into Devil Decapitator had reached a pinnacle, even though it was in its broken state. Devil Decapitator was still much stronger than other disciples' spirit weapons, other than in the face of those ancient weapons from the tomb. Devil Decapitator had never been damaged. That was enough to prove how exquisite Kang Miing's skill was. Let's go. What no one expected was that the corrupt Chosen actually called for everyone to turn and flee. Wasn't the corrupt path said to be unafraid of death? And this was a Chosen speaking. You want to leave. Using the Netherworld Ghost Steps, Long Chen was like a phantom instantly appearing in front of them with a single step. He slashed out his saber.
the corrupt Chosen had clearly not expected Long Chen to possess such a bizarre footwork. Long Chen appeared in front of him out of nowhere, and he hastily took out a staff. The staff's runes lit up, as it was also a spirit weapon, but the instant it met Devil Decapitator, it exploded. The Chosen was sent flying and vomited blood. While he was still in midair, Long Chen appeared behind him like some kind of specter, flashing Devil Decapitator once more. Blood shot out, as a head flew into the sky. Everyone let out startled cries. A Chosen had died just like that. Although everyone had already seen that this Chosen was not Long Chen's match, they had never expected a powerful Chosen to be killed so easily. Even if a Chosen couldn't defeat Turing their enemy, they should have at least been able to flee. And yet, the power difference between this Chosen and Long Chen was so high that he didn't even have that chance. His lifeless corpse fell to the ground. Personally seeing a generation's Chosen die just like this stunned everyone. Run. Seeing their Chosen die. The other corrupt disciples were finally completely terrified and fled. To flee efficiently, they should have scattered in all directions. That way at least a portion of them would have been able to get away. Unfortunately, this was a mountain valley, and they could only run in one direction. As a result, using the netherworld ghost steps, Long Chen caught up to them in an instant, and in just a couple breaths, all of them were cut down. As for the righteous disciples, they were all just foolishly watching. They had seen people be killed but they had never seen someone massacre people like Long Chen. Core disciples, favored, they were all cut down with a single, effortless blow. Most terrifying of all, each slash of his saber didn't have any technique behind it. They seemed like random swings, but those corrupt disciples were all unable to dodge for some reason. All they could attempt to do was to block it, and the result of trying to block Long Chen's saber was his blade cutting through their bodies. From the very start, Long Chen had seemed like a death god harvesting lives. He seemed so relaxed and contented as he cut down these corrupt disciples. And most terrifying of all was how focused he seemed on cutting them down. He almost seemed like a hardworking gardener who was carefully pruning or weeding. Just looking at this scene gave others chills. His expression was always calm. But this kind of expression was even more terrifying than the savage expressions of the corrupt disciples. After killing all those corrupt disciples, Long Chen gathered their spatial rings and strutted away. Seeing Long Chen disappear into the distance, many people collapsed on the ground, their clothes completely drenched in sweat. Too terrifying. Too intimidating. Too savage. Such descriptions continuously echoed throughout their minds. Long Chen was at least ten times more ruthless than corrupt disciples. Long Chen's ruthlessness was something hidden in his bones that rarely appeared while the corrupt disciples' ruthlessness was something they always revealed in order to intimidate others. They wanted to become more and more ruthless, but it seemed Long Chen's ruthlessness was something innate. It was just that he usually kept it suppressed, but once it erupted, he would instantly become a merciless death god. Don't you feel like it's a little strange? Would someone as powerful as Long Chen really try to rape a woman? Someone couldn't help posing this question. What a joke. Such a person kills chosen like killing pigs. He can get any woman he wants. If he made a public announcement saying he wanted women, who knows how many of them would come begging. Those photographic jades that were spread around are definitely fishy. Probably someone was trying to frame Long Chen. Someone finally made this guess. There were immediately several people who nodded. First not even talking about Long Chen's appearance. Just from that ruthless, domineering fighting style of his, people could tell he was an unyielding, prideful man. He would definitely disdain doing that kind of thing. I knew it from the very start. The instant I saw that photographic jade, I knew that someone was pulling strings behind the scenes. Otherwise, why would they spread so fast? One person stood up and spoke with great wisdom and foresight. Fuck. What kind of fake hindsight knowledge is this? Even if you want to bootlick, you have to do it in front of the person. For you to do it now, are you trying to embarrass yourself? Ridiculed some people. What do you mean? fake hindsight knowledge. From the very start, I knew something was fishy, and that's why I wasn't so stupid as to go provoke him. As soon as he said that, two angry snarls rang out. Fuck off. If you want to randomly fart around, I'll beat you to death. The two people talking were the two favored who had attacked Long Chen for justice and chivalry, taking the place of the heavens to punish him. As a result, they had almost been crushed to pulp by him. That person's last line was clearly an insult directed at the two of them. Most infuriating of all, the person speaking was just a measly core disciple. You want to beat me? Just you two? TCH. If you dare fart like that a second time, 
Then I'll show you that you people aren't as amazing as you think you are. That person icily glared at the two of them. Obviously he wasn't afraid of these two favored who were half dead. Sheet. The Deo Marks. Just as people were discussing this, someone shot towards the corrupt disciples' corpses. The Chosen and the two favored Deo Marks had already floated out of their bodies. Everyone immediately rushed over to fight over them. After killing that Chosen, Long Chen had finally gained a better understanding of his current strength. That put him much more at ease, and he continued deeper into the mountain valleys. Chapter 342 First Havenstage of Tendon Transformation Translator Born to be as Long Chen advanced, the mountain valleys began to crisscross, and it almost seemed like a maze. Furthermore, the mist was growing denser, and his range of vision was less than 300 meters. In this kind of environment, it was all too easy to get lost. As he advanced, he saw fewer and fewer people. However, their cultivation bases were much stronger, and there were essentially no more core disciples present. In fact, Long Chen even saw some experts on the chosen level. However, those experts weren't from the monasteries, and so they only glanced at Long Chen. Their eyes contained some astonishment when they looked at him, which was most likely due to how daring Long Chen was with his low cultivation base. Someone only at the early Tendon Transformation Realm dared to enter this deeply here? Obviously, these people didn't recognize Long Chen. They simply continued cautiously advancing and searching. As for Long Chen, since those experts didn't bother him, he also didn't go provoke them. Continuing forward, the mist became even denser, and more valleys and paths began to appear. Now it was extremely difficult to differentiate which direction he was traveling. This was only a hundred miles into the misty mountain valleys, but he no longer dared go any deeper. If he got lost inside, he might never be able to leave. The disciples who had entered the Jiuli secret realm all had to reach a set location before the realm closed. That was the only way for them to be transported back to the outer world. If they didn't make it in time, they would be stuck in the secret realm. Their only option would be to stay in the Jiuli secret realm for another hundred years, waiting for when it opened once more. However, ever since the Jiuli secret realm had appeared, none of those who had stayed in the Jiuli secret realm for a hundred years had ever managed to survive. They had all disappeared within the secret realm forever. As for the reason, no one knew. In any case, the past experiences of their seniors told all these disciples that if they couldn't make it to the gathering point when their time was up, they would definitely die. Nina hurt grass. Long Chen had been in the midst of hesitating about whether or not he should enter deeper when he noticed a cluster of strange grass on the cliff of the mountain in front of him. Each strand was eight inches long, and had nine segments that looked like flowers. However, those flowers were not brightly colored like real flowers, but a deep emerald green. This Ninahurt grass was a main ingredient for the fifth-tier Ninahurt Meridian Opening Pill. It was extremely precious. For cultivators that had reached the Meridian Opening Realm, the Ninahurt Meridian Opening Pill was a treasure they yearned for even in their dreams. This one cluster had over ten strands of Ninahurt grass. If those old Meridian Opening Elders from the monastery saw that, they would definitely go crazy. It's just like he said. There are countless precious medicinal herbs in these mountain valleys. But once you enter to gather them, you'll never be able to get out. On the way to the super monastery, Ling Yun, Zi had told everyone several taboos regarding the Jiuli secret realm. One of them was this place, the Misty Mountain Valleys. The Misty Mountain Valleys were also called the Lost Saul Mountain Valleys, or even perhaps the Soul Severing Valleys. Ling Yun Zi had warned everyone that if they wanted to collect medicinal herbs here, they were only to stay on the fringes. From the fringes, it was possible to see some distant mountains, and using those as markings, you would be able to walk out. But if you entered too deep, then with the thick mist, you wouldn't be able to differentiate north, east, south, west. If you entered, then you would be able to gather many medicinal ingredients, but you'd never be able to leave. Long Chen looked back in the direction he had come from. It was incredibly misty, and the mountains were already turning indistinct. Let's start with here then. At the entrance of the valley, Long Chen found a covert place to dig a small hole, and buried a small medicinal pill, replacing the dirt. Long Chen confirmed no one could tell he had done anything here and left. This medicinal pill was called the Spirit Guide Pill. It wasn't to be consumed, but to be used as a marker. Alchemy was a profession that went back to the distant past. It could be traced all the way to the very origin of cultivation. It was a broad and profound profession. There were medicinal pills whose tires were beyond a person's imagination, and the many effects and possibilities were as countless as the stars in the sky. 
This spirit guide pill could be considered an auxiliary pill. Other than auxiliary, defensive, and offensive pills, it was said that as long as an alchemist was strong enough and they had enough materials, it was even possible to refine a medicinal pill that would take human form and fight with them. And so alchemy was an extremely divine art. However, this medicinal pill was naturally far from reaching such a level. It didn't have much of an effect. The ingredients that had gone into it were simply special in that they allowed Long Chen to set his own spiritual imprint on them. This was just a medicinal pill to avoid getting lost. Alchemists could use such pills to orient themselves. While Long Chen was unaccoupied, he would often refine these kinds of auxiliary medicinal pills. These were all things alchemists prepared for themselves. Now this pill finally had a purpose. The spirit guide pills he had refined all had a specific spiritual imprint that only he could sense. So he didn't need to fear other pill cultivators destroying them. That was why Long Chen dared enter. He did one final inspection to be sure he hadn't made any mistakes before continuing deeper. Arriving at the Ninahurt grass, he used a special jade shovel to excavate it and carefully placed it into his life ring. Even though this life ring couldn't allow it to continue growing, it would keep it from decaying. Living medicinal ingredients were much more valuable than dead ones. Just these stalks of Ninahurt grass could be exchanged for a huge amount of points. If Long Chen refined them into Ninahurt Meridian opening pills, then they would fetch a shockingly high price. As expected, the legends are true. Once you enter this place, it's extremely difficult to leave. Long Chen turned back and the only thing he could see was this white mist. He wasn't even able to see the valley entrance anymore. This was the most bizarre aspect of the misty mountain valleys. Looking deeper in, it was possible to see for hundreds of meters. However, looking outwards, you wouldn't even be able to see a few meters in front of you. There were also smart people who had used their own smart methods. They had tied a string to the outside world so that they could enter and then leave by following the string. But this place contained people from both the righteous and corrupt paths. If you were to tie a piece of string to the outside, then enemies would easily find it. When you finally returned to your original location, you would find a group of people waiting to kill you and take your treasures. So that was not a good method. After collecting the Ninahurt grass, Long Chen returned to where he had buried a spirit guide pill. Looking into the indistinct mountain in the distance, he confirmed his orientation didn't have any problems. Only then did he go about erasing any of his footprints. After all, the misty mountain valley was famed for being terrifying. Long Chen didn't dare be careless. Ever since he had been buried in that ancient tomb, he had become much more cautious. Previously, if that spirit guide pill had failed him, he could still have followed his footprints out. But now that he had confirmed his method worked, Long Chen erased those footprints so that others wouldn't know he had gone in. He definitely didn't want there to be a large group of ambushers waiting for him when he returned. As he continued deeper, he found a shocking amount of precious ingredients. In less than a few hundred meters, he saw three clusters of Ninahurt grass as well as four other types of precious herbs that were all extremely rare in the outside world. That naturally delighted Long Chen. Alchemists all loved obtaining rare medicinal ingredients, and Long Chen was no exception. That was especially true since he had his pill god memories. Although those memories were incomplete, he had perfect knowledge of medicinal ingredients. He even had knowledge of medicinal ingredients that didn't even exist in the outer world. Long Chen couldn't help feeling incredibly grateful to that fellow who had gifted him his own life ring in the monastery's trial. That fellow really had helped him out. Following along the valley, he entered several miles deeper when he reached a fork in the road that led to other valleys. He once more buried a spirit guide pill here and continued deeper. Three days later, Long Chen's life ring was packed with hundreds of precious medicinal herbs. These were all exceptionally high-tier medicinal ingredients. If he refined them into high-tier medicinal pills, their value would be terrifying. Bang. Just as Long Chen was gathering medicinal ingredients, a muffled noise came from inside his body. The surrounding wind surged around him, and a majestic energy soared from his body. I've broken through to the first heaven stage. Long Chen couldn't help being delighted. It had already been several days since he had advanced to tendon transformation, and he hadn't deliberately cultivated. Instead, he had used three connecting flower tendon pills to nourish his tendons. What was a pleasant surprise for him was that his body's ability to absorb medicinal energy was absolutely shocking. Even after consuming over 10 three connecting flower tendon pills, he was still absorbing 100% of their energy. Although it was a special medicinal pill that could be continuously consumed, the fact that he was still absorbing its full medicinal energy was shocking. Furthermore, 
Not only were his tendons growing stronger, but his cultivation base also slowly rose with it. Medicinal pills were only a supplementary assistance to cultivation. Although they could quickly increase your cultivation base, if you didn't work hard yourself, your foundation would become unsteady, your aura would grow chaotic, and if this continued for too long, your cultivation base would essentially become crippled in the future. So while cultivators were dependent on medicinal pills, they couldn't be completely dependent. Even if you used medicinal pills to increase your strength, you would have to spend some extra time stabilizing your foundation. If you wanted to stabilize quicker, then the best way was to go out fighting, and the higher level the fight, the faster your foundation would settle. A life and death battle was the most efficient way to stabilize your power. However, Long Chen realized he didn't need to worry about that. There was not the slightest sign his foundation was growing unsteady. Could it be that the nine-star hegemon body art could consume unlimited medicinal pills? Long Chen had thought of that theory more than once. After advancing to the first heaven stage, Long Chen felt as if his body was brimming with energy, and couldn't help smiling. He took out another batch of three connecting flower tendon pills and threw them into his mouth. Since his body could continuously absorb medicinal energy, Long Chen decided to eat medicinal pills like food. This was also a kind of test towards the nine-star hegemon body art. He needed to uncover its secrets one by one. Continuing forward, Long Chen ran into several more valleys, and harvested quite a few precious medicinal herbs. But suddenly, Long Chen saw a skeleton lying on the ground before him, and his pupil shrunk ever so slightly. Chapter 343 Huge Wind Spirit Stone Translator Born to be Long Chen arrived in front of that skeleton. Whatever clothes it had been wearing had long since rotted, and its bones had also been badly damaged by erosion. He couldn't tell whether this person had been from the previous generation or even earlier. But the thing that surprised Long Chen slightly was that one of its fingers was gone now. That was the finger that usually wore a spatial ring. This person's spatial ring was taken away, and from the markings, it seems like it happened very recently. These footprints are new. There were more people who entered. Long Chen was slightly surprised. Other than himself, it seemed that there were more people who had also entered this deeply into the misty mountain valleys. He carefully examined the footprints. It looked as if there had been multiple people, perhaps around two or three. Looks like I'm not the only one with a secret technique to enter here. Long Chen couldn't help sighing. Since he could enter, he supposed it wasn't surprising for others to also have their own secret techniques to enter. It seemed like it wouldn't be so easy to get all the treasures here for himself. Just as he was sighing sorrowfully, he heard a whistling in the wind, and out of nowhere, something shot at Long Chen like a cannonball. Taken by surprise, Long Chen hastily dodged. Only when the attack passed him did he realize it was actually a rock. Wind Spirit Stone. That rock was the exact same as the Wind Spirit Stone Su Yang had shown him. His hand quickly whipped out and caught it. When he looked in the direction it had come from, he saw that it was completely misty. He couldn't tell where exactly this Wind Spirit Stone had shot out from. However, he couldn't sense any killing intent. That made sense. If someone really was aiming to kill him, they wouldn't be such a blockhead and use such a precious wind spirit stone as a surprise attack. Then does that mean there's some strange formation that is shooting out stones? Observing the wind spirit stone in his hand, he noticed that it was around the same size as the one Su Yang had shown him. However, he could clearly sense that the wind energy contained in this one was slightly purer. Su Yang had said that he had found his wind spirit stone on the fringes. Then were these things flying out from a deeper region? Another piece. Long Chen's divine sense spread out, encompassing a region of several hundred meters. He immediately noticed another fluctuation identical to the one coming from the wind spirit stone in his hand. Rushing over there, he saw a wind spirit stone lying beneath a bunch of weeds. There's more over here. Long Chen celebrated. He found another wind spirit stone located in the ground. These things would be heavenly treasures to Tang Wan or if she could comprehend some of the wind element mysteries contained within these wind spirit stones, her wind blades would become even more terrifying. Long Chen even began to regret that he had been solely focused on the medicinal herbs this entire time. Who knew how many wind spirit stones he had missed while advancing this far, but now wasn't too late. Spreading out his spiritual strength, Long Chen began to gather both medicinal herbs and wind spirit stones. Eventually, he entered a side path. Long Chen saw some marks that showed at least one other person had recently come in this direction. This person probably didn't even recognize some of these medicinal ingredients and didn't notice these wind spirit stones. Long Chen found a total of eight wind spirit stones. 
Although he also noticed that there were several parts of the ground that had just been excavated, he still found more than 10 precious herbs. Whoever had gone by probably hadn't recognized them. Long Chen once more buried a spirit guide pill and began to go in another direction. He'd rather not collect other people's leftovers. As he entered deeper, he found more and more precious herbs. Over 10,000 herbs had filled the majority of his life ring. That gave Long Chen a happiness like a beggar who had found a treasure house. After three days, even Long Chen didn't know how many valleys he had walked through. In any case, he had found over a hundred types of rare herbs that had completely filled his life ring. He had no choice but to move some of the lower value herbs into a spatial ring. Within a spatial ring, those herbs would quickly die. That caused Long Chen some pain. When it was still alive, the price of a medicinal ingredient would be at least twice what it would be if it were dead. That was because many large sects had their own medicinal fields. These precious herbs could be sold to them as seedlings. Those sects would pay several times the price for living herbs they didn't have so they could grow them in their sects. That was an investment. Although they'd lose out at first, as time passed, perhaps in tens or hundreds of years, that herb would begin to flourish and multiply. Then they would continue making a profit forever. It could be said to be a small investment for a huge profit. That was why rare herbs were priceless treasures in the outside world. Each time such a rare herb appeared in the world, it would cause a clamor amongst the large sects. Unfortunately, Long Chen had no way around this. His life ring space was limited, and couldn't store that many herbs. Placing some of his precious herbs into a spatial ring, Long Chen's heart dripped blood. Over these days, Long Chen had not only obtained rare herbs, he had also obtained 130 wind spirit stones. That was a shocking number. As he continued forward, he had found that the quality of the wind spirit stone had continuously increased. Huh? What is this wind energy? Long Chen suddenly stopped with a perplexed expression. He could feel wind, but the mist wasn't moving at all. That was extremely bizarre. Another wind spirit stone shot out of the mist at Long Chen. Long Chen raised his hand and caught it. When the wind spirit stone collided with his hand, his hand was forced back slightly. How powerful. Long Chen was slightly surprised. Since advancing to tendon transformation, his physical strength had reached an abnormally powerful level. Even a full-blow attack from a core disciple was unable to make his hand twitch in the slightest. It could be seen how much force had been behind this wind spirit stone. Long Chen was pleasantly surprised to sense that the energy within this particular wind spirit stone was even purer than before. In fact, it was several times purer than the ones he had obtained before. Even just by holding it, the air around it cleared up. That was how powerful the energy inside it was. There's definitely something odd up ahead. Long Chen put away the wind spirit stone and continued forward. The further he went, the stronger the wind became. The light breeze became stronger, eventually becoming a whistling gale that made it hard for Long Chen to even keep his eyes open. There was no longer any vegetation around the mountain valleys. But Long Chen was pleasantly surprised to see quite a few spirit stones lying on the ground. There were dozens of them in view. Long Chen was ecstatic, and began to crazily absorb them into his spatial ring. I've definitely struck gold this time. His divine sense spread out, and he found that there were hundreds of wind spirit stones within the range of his divine sense. That almost made Long Chen shout excitedly. The forceful wind energy contained in these stones also had very broad uses as energy stores in addition to being useful to wind attribute experts. These were the best sources of energy for flying instruments. However, only those who were stupidly rich possessed flying instruments that were powered by wind spirit stones. Even the Zhuanshan Super Monastery wasn't that powerful. They definitely wouldn't use such precious stones on a transportation tool. In this area, Long Chen gathered over 8,000 wind spirit stones in just half a day. By now, he almost felt as if he were dreaming. But although he was excited, as he continued forward, the wind grew stronger, and he was forced to use his spiritual key to protect his body. These terrifying gales could easily destroy city walls. Due to the continuous wind in this region, the ground was completely bare and sleek like a mirror. Even the two sides of the valley were completely bare. At this point, nothing was able to stay on the ground or walls. There were no longer any spirit stones here. However, Long Chen still continued forward. He wanted to see just what was going on. Where was all this wind coming from? Several miles in. Long Chen wasn't even able to stay standing on his own in the face of this wind. He had no choice but to take out Devil Decapitator. He borrowed its weight and power to keep himself steady. Another mile in and the wind was like blades, cutting apart Long Chen's robes. Even with his powerful physical body, 
Long Chen still felt great pain from this wind. However, at this point, he saw a certain scene. Even with his fearless nature, his expression still changed. At the end of a valley was an open space around 30 miles wide. At the center, there was a mountain around 300 meters high. This mountain looked like a stalagmite, shooting out of the ground like a bamboo shoot. What was terrifying about it was that it was made of countless wind spirit stones. It looked as if countless wind spirit stones had been piled up here and then half melted to form a solid body, appearing incredibly bizarre. The most eye-attracting thing was that there was a large, shining entity at the top of it that was releasing all the gale winds. The instant he saw that entity, Long Chen stopped breathing. That was a huge wind spirit stone, other than its size. The only thing different about this huge wind spirit stone was that it was completely translucent, looking just like diamond. Terrifying wind energy was being released by it. It had to be at least the size of a table. Even from miles away, Long Chen still felt an intense pressure. This thing was extremely dangerous. Long Chen suspected that if he were to even approach it, he might be turned to pulp by that terrifying energy. Are you serious? He couldn't help feeling depressed inside. To be able to see a treasure like this but not be able to obtain it, that was definitely a torment. However, it was definitely too terrifying. With his current strength, there was no way he could obtain it, but to just give up on it was definitely not Long Chen's style. How could he allow a treasure to be left so lonely here? That would definitely be blasphemy, and Long Chen wouldn't allow that to happen. He slowly approached it. However, when he was just a mile away, the pressure had increased to an unbearable level. Taking a deep breath, Long Chen decided not to press it any further. He turned around, but on the way, something caught his gaze. Huh? There's another mountain here. Long Chen was stunned. Behind the mountain of wind spirit stones, there was another smaller mountain. But when Long Chen saw what that small mountain was, his face instantly turned pale as paper. Chapter 344 Barbaric Wind Beast Translator Born to be that was no mountain, but a huge head. It was around a hundred meters tall and was dirt yellow, which caused it to look like a small mountain. Looking behind that head, Long Chen saw that its body had to be at least a mile long, and its huge body was covered in scales. Each scale was the size of a round table, and they were covered in cyan vein lines. Long Chen could sense a powerful wind energy coming from those scales. A body like a lizard, scales like a python, four pillar-like legs, and six toes on each foot. Is this the legendary barbaric wind beast? Long Chen's heart shook. Such a beast only existed within ancient texts. It had already gone extinct in the outside world, but he had ended up running into it here. It was said the barbaric wind beast was an extremely rare wind attribute magical beast that had a great control over wind energy. It was said to be an overlord amongst magical beasts that was unrevealed within the same realm. It still hasn't formed a heaven mark, so it hasn't reached the Xianchen realm. Most likely it has reached the fifth rank. When magical beasts reached the Xianchen realm, in other words, the sixth rank, a very clear mark would appear on their foreheads, that was called a heaven mark, and it was easily distinguishable. As for this barbaric wind beast, it hadn't reached the Xianchen realm, but just looking at its terrifying form, it had to have reached the fifth rank, that was a monster on the same level as the meridian opening realm. However, this level of magical beast was something that would cause a headache even for Xianchen experts. There was zero chance that someone like Long Chen could handle it. Although he was confident in his strength, that wasn't stupid arrogance. He didn't have the slightest urge to try and provoke this fifth rank barbaric wind beast. He saw that this barbaric wind beast was in some kind of special state. It seemed it was ignoring everything happening around it. It's absorbing the wind energy to cultivate. Long Chen suddenly realized why it hadn't done anything to him. At the same time, he sighed regretfully. With such a powerful beast guarding it, it seemed there really was no hope of him obtaining that huge wind spirit stone. He could only give up. In order to not alarm it, Long Chen withdrew as quietly as he could. Only when the mountain of wind spirit stones blocked its vision of him did Long Chen finally sigh a breath of relief. A man who is never content is like a snake that tries to swallow an elephant. I've already obtained this many wind spirit stones. It should be enough. Long Chen consoled himself. But is it really enough? Long Chen couldn't help feeling greed towards that huge wind spirit stone. Fuck. Stop trying to tempt me. I won't look at you. Long Chen directly closed his eyes. You couldn't want what you couldn't see. But even after closing his eyes, his divine sense still probed over that wind spirit stone. In fact, his divine sense allowed him to see it even more clearly than his eyes. 
That huge wind spirit stone possessed an incredibly destructive energy. Ah, you really are trying to make me crazy. Long Chen, you blockhead. If you provoke this barbaric wind beast, you'll definitely die. You definitely can't do something so stupid. Long Chen was practically roaring inside his head. Finally, it was with his greatest willpower that he managed to withdraw down his original path. After several miles, he reached the valley he had come in from. As long as he went through here, he would lose sight of the wind spirit stone. But it seemed Long Chen had been bespelled, and an irresistible force pulled him to a stop, and he couldn't help turning back to look. Greed is a sin. Greed is a sin. Greed is a sin. Important things have to be said three times. Long Chen sighed. With supreme willpower, he started going down another path. Since he couldn't fight for that huge wind spirit stone, then he'd go searching for some more of the smaller wind spirit stones. Perhaps the heavens had heard Long Chen's complaints, or perhaps it was just that it had been too long since people had come here. After just a couple dozen miles, Long Chen obtained over 10,000 wind spirit stones. That consoled him slightly. Huh? There's people ahead. Long Chen had gone down two mountain valleys when he sensed an anomaly. Although his line of sight did not extend even 300 meters here, his divine sense had a range of over a mile. He managed to sense three figures slowly advancing. It's Xiao Mingxian. Killing intent suddenly filled Long Chen. Of those three people, one was Xiao Mingxian, while the other one was also the other chosen who had attacked Long Chen in the ancient tomb. As for the third person, he was an extremely handsome young man wearing white robes. Long Chen couldn't help being shocked. That person's aura was extremely powerful. His cultivation base had reached the ninth heaven stage of tendon transformation, and each of his movements contained the mannerisms of an expert. This fellow is extremely strong. Long Chen sensed a great deal of pressure from this person. Apart from Yun Luo, he had rarely ever encountered such a thing. That was enough to prove this fellow was extremely powerful. For some unknown reason, Long Chen felt as if he were somewhat familiar, but he was sure he hadn't seen this person before. These three were carefully advancing, searching for medicinal herbs, but Long Chen noticed that they completely ignored a wind spirit stone that lay in the underbrush. He sneered. They really were idiots. Brother Xianfang, this time it's all thanks to you. Otherwise, the two of us wouldn't dare to enter the misty mountain valleys, said Xiao Mingxian gratefully. The other chosen also nodded, trying to curry favor. It's nothing. You're both allied with my first monastery, and we keep watch over and defend one another. There's no need for words of politeness, said the handsome man lightly. As expected, Brother Xianfeng is generous and open-minded. Just this kind of bearing is enough to completely convince me that Brother Xianfeng is a model example of our righteous path, flattered Xiao Mingxian. Just listening to that made Long Chen's hair stand on end. He had seen shameless people, but never someone this shameless. He was actually able to say such bootlicking words out loud? At the same time, Long Chen became even more curious towards this man's identity. So he belonged to the first monastery. The first monastery was truly extremely powerful. As he used his divine sense to examine him, Long Chen found him to be more and more familiar. Suddenly, Long Chen clapped himself in the leg, finally realizing why he seemed so similar. He was 70% similar to the monastery's number one expert. Han Shian Ayu. The Han family's two genius brothers are the envy of who knows how many families. With brother Shian Feng and your big brother Shian Ayu's talent, the fact that you came to our super monastery is a blessing for the super monastery, exclaimed the other chosen in admiration. As Long Chen had thought, this was Han Shian Ayu's little brother. No wonder they seemed so similar. A pair of chosen brothers was definitely an amazing thing for the first monastery. Han Xianfeng was a year younger than his brother Han Xianayu. His talent was just a hair lacking in comparison to his big brother. His name was famous within the first monastery. The most amazing thing is that brother Xianfeng had the ability to enter the misty mountain valleys all on his own, but still brought us two inconveniences with him to share in the wealth. That truly makes me incredibly moved. Once we leave, this junior brother will definitely give half the precious herbs I gather to brother Xianfeng. Please brother Xianfeng, don't refuse. Xiao Mingxian continued to bootlick. Before entering the secret realm, Han Xianfeng had accidentally obtained a tool that looked similar to a chessboard. It was able to record a person's path as they traveled. It was most likely a measuring tool from ancient times, and such a thing had practically already disappeared from the outside world. The first thing Han Xianfeng had thought of after obtaining this treasure was the Misty Mountain Valleys. The Misty Mountain Valleys had now become a treasure house for him. 
However, before he had entered the valleys, he had been delayed by a couple of things. When he arrived, he had coincidentally run into these two. After Xiao Mingxian said he would give Han Shai and Feng half his gains from here, the other chosen also hastily said the same thing, causing some admiration to appear on Han Shai and Feng's face. However, he feigned being displeased by saying that, Are you looking down on me? I brought you two in because I look favorably upon your talent and want to be friends. How could I covet your treasures? We know that Brother Shai and Feng is a heroic figure of our generation, and these medicinal herbs are probably nothing to you. However, if you refuse to take them, then the two of us will really be unable to set our minds at ease. So please brother, let us feel better about ourselves and reluctantly take them, said Xiao Mingxian sincerely. Only then did Han Shai and Feng sigh. Ah, you too. Is it worth all this bother? I suppose I have no choice but to be shameless and accept them. But remember, I also have my bottom line. I will accept at most half. If you give me more, this brother of yours will end up becoming hostile. No, no, we definitely won't do that. As expected, brother Cheyenne Feng is loyal to his friends. We really admire you, hastily said the two of them. Their alliance with the first monastery was a secret one. However, before entering the secret realm, their elders had all told them that no matter what time it was, they had to place their priority on maintaining a good relationship with the first monastery. They definitely could not offend them. Xiao Mingxian and this other chosen were both very astute. Although doing this was slightly painful, if Han Shai and Feng had not brought them in with him, they wouldn't have been able to obtain anything at all. They were at least keeping half the precious herbs they gathered for free. More importantly, they would not only get these precious herbs, but they would also be able to form a good relationship with Han Shai and Feng. Once they returned to their monastery, they would definitely obtain even more rewards. Then they really would have made a huge profit. If they had refused to offer Han Shai and Feng a portion, Han Shai and Feng would also not have asked for them. But that would have offended him. And once they all went to cultivate in the super monastery, the first monastery would perhaps show them some extra attention, making things hard for them. That was definitely not what an astute person would do. Hearing their conversation, Long Chen almost puked. The practices of the righteous path had practically become rotten to the core. Geniuses didn't focus on bringing out their potential, instead focusing on scheming against each other to stand above them. It was no wonder the righteous path, despite being several times the number of the corrupt path, would still be suppressed by the corrupt path. They were all a bunch of old idiots raising a bunch of young idiots. This pattern had already been set in stone, and it heavily impacted their growth. Those with talent were suppressed by those without any talent. Those talentless idiots didn't have a cultivator's heart, and focused on maintaining their position. Each day, all they knew how to do was fight internally, doing their best to hinder other people's cultivation. They didn't cultivate themselves, instead making it so others couldn't cultivate. And so these disciples, who had only just stepped onto the path of cultivation, had already been infected by those rotten customs. Long Chen already detested the righteous path more than the corrupt path. The corrupt path had killed countless members of the righteous path, but all the righteous path did was secretly suppress their own people to death. The only reason they hadn't been exterminated by now was their numbers, which also included countless talented and ambitious geniuses. Are you absolutely sure that Long Chen died? After determining how the loot would be split, Han Shian Feng suddenly asked a question that caused Long Chen's ears to perk up. Chapter 345 The Black Hand Scheming Behind the Scenes Translator Born to be are you absolutely sure that Long Chen died? I'm sure. We personally saw it. He was buried in an ancient tomb. So we can't be wrong. But we really have no choice but to admit this fellow was practically a monster. Although he had clearly just broken through to tendon transformation and hadn't even reached the first heaven stage. He was able to fight against three of us. Without that corrupt idiot. Just the two of us might have been killed by him. Thinking about that battle. Xiao Mingxian still felt some fear. When Long Chen had finally released his full power at the end of their fight, they had all felt a terror that came from the depths of their souls. They were both chosen and had a spiritual perception that surpassed others. Long Chen had definitely been too terrifying. They had both felt that Long Chen could easily suppress them. That was something they had never even dreamed of. So thinking of how they had treated Long Chen like an easy target, they couldn't help but sweat coldly. Then that's really a pity. Han Shai and Feng sighed. A while ago. I received a secret transmission and had been preparing to personally test that Long Chen. A pity, Brother Shai and Feng. 
don't you think personally handling him would be making too big of a fuss? Xiao Mingxian didn't understand. Although the two of them had never seen Han Xianfeng fight, it was said that his combat strength was second only to his brother Han Xianayu. His strength had reached an unimaginable level. Although the three of them were all classified as chosen, the two of them were well aware that when it came to strength, the two of them were unfit to even tie his shoes. Otherwise, they wouldn't suck up to him so much. You two are unaware of it, but I received reliable information that the Corrupt Path's number one expert, Yin Luo, had secretly run over to the gathering area of our monasteries in order to kill Long Chen, said Han Xianfeng. What? Impossible. The two of them were filled with disbelief. How could the Corrupt Path's number one expert take the risk of invading the Righteous Path's territory to kill Long Chen? This information is absolutely true. That's why I feel some doubt that Long Chen really did die in that tomb. Back then, Long Chen was only at blood condensation, but he still had the ability to escape from Yun Luo. And when you three then encountered him, he had reached tendon transformation. So I'm not at all shocked that the three of you were unable to defeat Chiring him. However, I still do not believe that he was buried in a tomb. At this time, the two chosen both felt cold sweat dripping from their backs. They now realized that the two of them had managed to luckily snatch their lives back from the hands of the Grim Reaper. Just who was Yun Luo? He was praised as the number one expert of the corrupt path, a once in a thousand year genius. Amongst chosen of the same realm, there were none who had managed to receive more than ten of his blows. He had defeated countless experts, but such a figure had personally gone to chase after Long Chen? The two of them looked at each other, each seeing the other person's terror. Then is the story true? Long Chen really cut off Yun Luo's leg. Han Xianfeng nodded. It should be true. However, the person truly fighting Yun Luo was a top genius who came from another prefecture. Long Chen only managed to do that because of him. They had all heard the story of Long Chen's fight. However, they had almost died laughing when they heard it. It would be a complete joke for a blood condensation rookie to defeat Chiringa chosen on the same level as Han Xianayu. Even an idiot wouldn't believe such a joke. But now there were all kinds of indicators that implied it was true. If Long Chen really had such accomplishments, then he was definitely incredibly powerful and bold. That fellow was definitely terrifying. However, the two of us can swear to the heavens that we personally saw him get buried within the tomb. Xiao Mingxian was worried Han Xianfeng wouldn't believe him, and so he told him about everything that had happened on that day. In the end, he couldn't help but sigh. The two of us were really unlucky. In the end, we didn't gain anything but ended up covered in wounds. Furthermore, even after killing that corrupt chosen, we didn't get his spatial ring or even his head. Just thinking about it infuriates me. It really is regretful. That golden page and the forging table were definitely treasures. Perhaps it recorded some kind of inheritance. Even Han Xianfeng felt it was a pity. Long Chen was lucky to die. Otherwise, I would have personally let him taste the flavor of defeat. And in the end, my brother would kill him. Speaking of which, you should tell your subordinates to keep their mouths shut about this. Don't tell anyone that Long Chen died because of you too. Why not? We aren't afraid of the 108th Monastery's revenge. We were already planning on letting our anger loose on them. Xiao Mingxian didn't understand. Long Chen's monastery was the weakest existence in the Super Monastery. No one cared about them. Furthermore, Long Chen's wicked actions had already been recorded, and everyone had seen it. The 108th Monastery would be helpless about it. If they wanted to interfere, that would just be inviting self-humiliation, which was actually something they longed to see. The distant Long Chen was using his divine sense to observe all of this. He smiled icily. Even though he was dead, they were still continuing to target him. Ah, even people as clever as you sometimes have your foolish moments. Han Xianfeng looked as if the two of them had let him down. He continued. The matter of targeting Long Chen was ordered by the higher-ups, but the actual plot was engineered by senior apprentice sister Yun Wushuang. The original plan was just for Long Chen to die in here, but later, she changed her mind. She wanted Long Chen to be seen by all as a wicked villain, also that Long Chen could die to my brother, allowing him to seem like the embodiment of justice. That was the best way for my brother to win glory. You two ended up making Long Chen die outside that plan. The one you should be afraid of isn't the first monastery. You ruined senior apprentice sister Yun Wushuang's plans. You should understand a woman's temperament. If she ends up being narrow-minded, you really won't have a good end. As for her background, I'm sure the two of you should be aware of it. Even my first monastery can't provoke her. In fact, 
Even the entire Supra Monastery has to treat her family with great importance, and they won't easily offend them. If she were to learn about this matter, she would definitely be displeased. And if she were truly infuriated, then even your sect leaders wouldn't be able to interfere. Although she might not openly do anything to you too, it would definitely be unfavorable to your future growth. In this world, only my brother can control her slightly. However, whether or not my brother would want to speak out for you too is not something I can guess. If I hadn't felt that we were tied by destiny, I also wouldn't have bothered warning you. In this manner, I have also slightly offended senior apprentice sister Yun Washuang. In the distance, Long Chen heard all of this completely clearly. Although he had already guessed some of this, he hadn't thought these idiots were so brazenly targeting him. It was no wonder he had felt that this scheme had been prepared extremely meticulously. He had only just entered the secret realm when he encountered people who had framed him. That was no coincidence. Even if Long Chen hadn't run into that woman, there would have been more traps for him. Those had been prepared long before entering the secret realm. Before this, Long Chen had suspected the 36th monastery, but he had always felt the 36th monastery shouldn't have possessed so much power, and that the first monastery should have been supporting them. However, now he realized that the first monastery wasn't just supporting this, but were the main ones who wanted him to die. The most hateful person of all would have to be that slut Yun Washuang. She even wanted to use him as a stepping stone for Han Shian Iu, to use his death to raise Han Shian Iu's fame. That woman was definitely too vicious. Many thanks for the warning, Brother Shian Fang. The two of us can't thank you enough. The two chosen hastily bowed. If Han Shian Feng hadn't warned them, they really would have been screwed. If they offended Yun Washuang, no one from the first monastery would speak up for them. Then all their efforts just now would have been wasted. While the most fearful thing would be that woman's revenge. You don't necessarily have to be afraid. Although my current strength is still slightly inferior to my brother. That's just because I'm a year younger, said Han Shian Fang. His voice contained an unwillingness to be inferior. How could Xiao Mingxin not understand his meaning? He was clearly asking them to be loyal to him. In the future, he would most likely become his brother's rival. Ever since ancient times, no one was willing to be number two, not even to their flesh and blood brother. No one was willing to forever stay in a person's shadow. Don't worry brother Shian Fang. The two of us swear to follow you. If we break this vow, let our bodies be torn apart and our bones be crushed to dust. The two of them solemnly swore. To the two of them, just being able to get closer to the first monastery was enough. It didn't matter who it was exactly. Following Han Shian Feng would definitely not cause them to suffer. In fact, it was an enormous opportunity. Han Shian Feng smiled with delight. Good. In the future, your matters will be my matters. If you have any difficulties, don't be afraid to tell me about them. Han Shian Feng had long since begun secretly cultivating his own group. In the future, he didn't want to always hear that he was the number one genius Han Shian Iu's little brother. He would make everyone remember his name, Han Shian Feng. Now he had two more chosen in his alliance, raising his confidence further. My big brother is skilled in everything, but he's excessively conceited in his looks. He believes every woman would crawl all over him. HMPH. Back then when he saw Long Chen with those two women, the envy and greedy tried to cover was unable to escape me. This time, I'll snatch those two women and make them my slaves. He, that'll be my first challenge to my brother. Then congratulations, brother Shian Feng. With your looks and talent, those two slots can be drawn in with a wave of your hand. As long as you ask, won't they throw themselves into your embrace? Ha ha ha. The two chosen hastily sucked up more. The distant Long Chen was clenching his fists, killing intent surging within him. These bastards really had to have a death wish. Who's there? Han Shian Feng suddenly shouted and turned in his direction. Chapter 346 Using Kindness to Repay Enmity Translator Born to be who's there? Han Shian Feng's shout gave the other two a fright. They both took out their weapons warily. But nothing happened. The only thing they saw was the endless mist. With some embarrassment, Han Shian Feng suddenly said, Maybe I was too sensitive. This is the Misty Mountains Valleys. And other than us three, there's no way there's anyone else. However, he had just sensed an extremely indistinct killing intent. His expert intuition had caused him to suddenly shout. Xiao Mingxian and the other chosen's nervous expressions caused him to feel a bit embarrassed. He felt he had maybe been a bit too nervous. Haha, <laughs> it's okay. All this means is brother Xian Feng is cautious. That's how an expert should be. The two of them hastily laughed to cover up that awkward atmosphere. 
However, inside, they felt this was a bit strange. They were in the depths of the misty mountain valleys. Whoever dared enter here was just sending themselves to death. As the three of them suspiciously hesitated, Long Chen had already withdrawn several miles. He couldn't help being somewhat amazed. Han Xianfen was definitely extremely powerful. He had been suppressing his emotions, not letting his killing intent surge out of him. But when he had heard them place their intentions on Tang Wan'er and Ye's Hikyu, his anger had leaked out slightly. That was just an extremely slight change, but it had still drawn his attention. This person was definitely stronger than Long Chen had expected. It was no wonder he dared compete with his brother. Even if he wasn't capable of defeating him, they should both still be on the same level. They were much, much stronger than ordinary chosen. Should I kill them now? Long Chen rubbed Devil Decapitator, holding the hilt. He had an urge to immediately start up a large fight, but then he shook his head. A martial artist must have a cultivator's heart and be humane. I swore back then to become a supreme scoundrel. Killing people like this is wrong. I need to have a powerful a heart and forgive my enemies. That is the most honorable thing to do. I need to try using kindness to repay enmity. Although I know this is hard, I still have to try it at least once. For my grand goal, I should bring out my full effort. Long Chen clenched his teeth. Since he had said it, he would do it. He took out a wind spirit stone, calculated in the wind direction, and sent it flying out. Those three who were slowly advancing while searching for medicinal herbs suddenly felt a change in the air and looked to the front. They saw a stone flying towards them. Han Xianfen reached out his hand and caught it. He hastily looked in the direction it had come from, but all he saw was mist. Who is it? Xiao Mingxian was the first to summon the courage to shout. After all, their vision range did not surpass 300 meters here, which was a bit spooky. You don't need to shout. This wasn't thrown by a person. Han Xianfen shook his head. If it wasn't a person, then who did it? A ghost. Han Xianfen was too lazy to respond to them. He carefully examined the stone in his hand and couldn't help being shocked. Wind Spirit Stone. As someone from the first monastery, Han Xianfen was experienced and knowledgeable. He naturally could recognize it. As for the other two chosen, they could tell that this Wind Spirit Stone had to be important from Han Xianfen's expression. How could there be Wind Spirit Stones here? Han Xianfen was filled with ecstasy. This stone wasn't thrown by someone, but sent flying by some kind of natural energy. Long Chen had sent this wind spirit stone flying through the air using his spiritual strength. Once it had reached a certain speed, he had released it. Due to the wind energy inside these stones, they were able to float in midair for a certain amount of time. If nothing stopped them, it was more than possible for them to fly thousands of miles. That was also why Su Yang had managed to find one even on the outer fringes. The wind spirit stone had been flying purely on its own natural energy by the time it reached Han Xianfeng, and that was why he felt that it hadn't been thrown by a person. This place actually has wind spirit stones. Look closely around and use your spiritual strength to carefully search for similar stones, ordered Han Xianfeng. There's another one here. Although they weren't alchemists, they were chosen, and their innate spiritual strength was not low. They could easily spread it out for one or two dozen meters. There's also one here in the ground. Heavens, this really is a wind spirit stone. Xiao Mingxian couldn't believe his eyes as he held a wind spirit stone. Damn, I really never thought these mountain valleys contained wind spirit stones. We probably missed a lot of them on the way because we weren't paying attention. The other chosen side, but it was too late for regrets. This discovery filled them all with regret. But going back the way they had come just for wind spirit stones wasn't too efficient. It was better to continue onwards. Ah, there's wind, and it's a very bizarre wind. The three of them had continued several miles onwards and had also obtained several more wind spirit stones when they suddenly felt fluctuations in the air. Another wind spirit stone shot through the air. However, this time it was flying higher up in the air. Xiao Mingxian had hastily jumped up to catch it. I understand. These wind spirit stones were blown out by the wind from deeper within these mountain valleys. Let's go take a look. Han Xianfen was shocked by this discovery and the three of them quickly rushed in deeper. Long Chen had long since entered deeper within the mountain valleys. Occasionally he would use his spiritual strength to throw out some more wind spirit stones. He sighed in relief when he saw that he had finally led them on the right track. He had spent 30 wind spirit stones, all to feed these dogs. No, he couldn't put it like that, or Little Snow wouldn't be happy. Well, in any case, as a person, he had to have a charitable heart. This would have to count as one of his good deeds. Now that the three of them were already on the right track, 
Long Chen was no longer so charitable and began to rush in deeper. Once he reached the area with that small mountain made of wind spirit stones, Long Chen looked around and found a narrow opening on the side of a mountain valley. This little opening faced the opposite direction of where the three of them would eventually enter from, so they wouldn't be able to see him from there. The heavens really are helping me, Long Chen celebrated, and carefully moved towards that opening. Once he was inside, he was extremely satisfied with his position. This spot was very concealed, and he could stealthily sneak peeks over to the entrance from here. He could also see that terrifying barbaric wind beast behind the mountain. The barbaric wind beast was still lying there with its eyes closed, seemingly deeply asleep. Long Chen had just hidden himself when the three of them arrived here by following Long Chen's guidance. Seeing that mountain of wind spirit stones, as well as that huge wind spirit stone on the top, the three of them all turned lifeless. Wind. Wind spirit crystal. Han Shianfen was filled with disbelief, and a fanatical expression appeared in his eyes. Even his voice trembled slightly. Long Chen was startled. So this thing was actually called a wind spirit crystal. As expected, those who came from powerful backgrounds had more knowledge of such things. This is a legendary wind spirit crystal. Finding such a treasure, Xiao Mingxian and the other chosen felt as if they were dreaming. This wind spirit crystal contains a terrifying energy. However, as long as we don't end up activating that energy, we'll still be able to gather it. Let's go get it first, said Han Xianfang. Brother Xianfang, let us do it. Seeing that treasure, the other two chosen knew that this wind spirit crystal would belong 100% to Han Xianfang. If they dared try to get a share of such a treasure, Han Xianfang would definitely immediately turn hostile and kill them. The two of them were both smart and wouldn't do something so stupid. No matter how good a treasure was, they still needed their lives to enjoy the treasure. Since they obviously wouldn't be able to obtain the treasure, they could at least display their loyalty. Obtaining Han Xianfeng's trust was the most tangible benefit. Han Xianfeng nodded in praise when he saw the two of them were so sensible. These two subordinates of his were pretty smart, and worth raising. However, in order to avoid any unexpected mishaps, he followed behind the two of them, but he also maintained a certain distance to display his trust. When they were 300 meters from the mountain, even while holding heavy weapons, they were still unable to stay steady in the face of the wild gales. The two chosen had to release their full auras to continue. However, Han Xianfeng hadn't done anything. Even without releasing his aura, he was still able to steadily advance. As expected, he really is powerful. Furthermore, his cultivation technique is a bit special. Long Chen could see all of this clearly from his hiding spot. Although Han Xianfeng hadn't released his aura, his spiritual key was rapidly circulating in his body. Long Chen could sense there was a strange energy being released from Han Xianfeng's feet that was keeping him solidly attached to the ground. It was as if he had grown roots, and the wind was unable to move him. Long Chen kept a close eye on the huge barbaric wind beast. However, what infuriated him was that this huge lump of meat was still sleeping. Fuck, what time is it and you're still sleeping? Your treasure's about to be stolen. Long Chen started to feel some worry. The two chosen had already reached the bottom of the mountain of wind spirit stones. But the barbaric wind beast still hadn't woken up. What the hell? Are you hibernating or something? Hurry up and wake up. If I had known it would be like this, I would have already taken it. Han Xianfeng saw that the other two chosen had practically gone crazy with delight. And were currently gathering those wind spirit stones that made up the mountain. Ignore the wind spirit stones and go collect the wind spirit crystal. Those wind spirit stones were all stuck to each other, and separating them was time consuming. That was why Han Xianfeng spoke out in a displeased tone. The two chosen couldn't help feeling a bit dissatisfied. They knew this huge wind spirit crystal wouldn't be theirs, so these wind spirit stones were their only harvests. However, since Han Xianfeng had already given them the order, they had no choice but to give up collecting them. They began climbing up the mountain. Seeing that the two of them would reach the top of the mountain in a short time, Long Chen was completely infuriated. He stealthily took out the golden page. It seemed he would have to wake up the sleeping beast. The two chosen were just about to reach the peak as they bitterly resisted the terrifying wind energy being released by the wind spirit crystal. As for Long Chen, he was just about to activate his spiritual strength. At that moment, two large eyes slowly opened. The vertical pupils in those eyes twinkled with a dreadful light. Chapter 347 Terrifying Barbaric Wind Beast Translator Born to be Dam 
This wind spirit crystal is stuck to the mountain. Xiao Mingxian and the other chosen were using spiritual key to protect themselves from the wind. But when they tried to move the wind spirit crystal, which was as tall as they were, they found they were unable to budge it. Wind spirit crystals contained wind energy, and so its weight wasn't actually that heavy. And yet, no matter how hard they tried, they were unable to displace it. It was as if it were growing out of the mountain. Then how about we cut it down? A sword appeared in Xiao Mingxian's hand. No. Down below. Han Xianfeng's expression changed and he hastily stopped them. You absolutely cannot. If you end up attacking the wind spirit crystal and activating the energy inside, we'll all be dead. As a chosen from the first monastery, Han Xianfeng's knowledge surpassed other chosen, and he was aware of some taboos regarding this wind spirit crystal. If the two of them used their spiritual key to attack it, then that would make an opening for the violent energy inside it, and it would be like a flood erupting out of a dam. The terrifying energy would instantly annihilate anything within thousands of miles. That kind of terrifying energy was something even Xi'anshan experts would be unable to block. As for the three of them, they would instantly be turned to dust. That was why Han Xianfeng had been so scared when he saw Xiao Mingxian take out a blade. Then what should we do? Xiao Mingxian didn't dare move, never having expected the wind spirit crystal to be so terrifying. But when he looked down, he saw that Han Xianfeng was paper white. His eyes filled with terror. You. You too. The two chosen were startled. What had happened for a top expert to become so speechless? You too. Behind you. Han Xianfeng finally stuttered out. The two hastily turned to look behind the mountain. But when they saw that huge figure, they instantly turned stiff. A huge head was right in front of them. Because it was too huge, they couldn't even see what its body looked like. Two eyes that were as large as houses stared at them. The icy light shining from them made them feel as if they had landed in an ice house. Hurry up and run you idiots. Seeing that those two idiots were still stunned, Long Chen involuntarily felt some worry. These two idiots. What kind of time was it for them to be daydreaming? They had to be holy warriors amongst idiots. For them to not immediately run in the face of a fifth rank magical beast. Were they waiting for it to say hello? Long Chen didn't really care about their lives. In fact. That hatred he had felt towards them had also lessened greatly. What he wanted was that wind spirit crystal. That wind spirit crystal contained extremely clear wind mysteries. And if Tang Wan Er could comprehend those, she would definitely be able to soar in power. Although neither he nor Tang Wan Er had ever expressed certain kinds of feelings towards each other, they both knew they were present in each other's hearts. These kinds of feelings didn't need to be expressly spoken. To obtain this wind spirit crystal, Long Chen had forced himself to lay down his hatred and gift these people his wind spirit stones. Ah, he really had sacrificed a great deal for Tang Wan Er, but these two idiots were now still just staring blankly at this time. If they were instantly killed by this barbaric wind beast, wouldn't all his efforts have been wasted? Run, Han Xianfeng roared, and without even thinking about it, he turned and fled. He had recognized the barbaric wind beast. As for Xiao Mingxian and the other chosen, they finally recovered from their terror and began to flee with all their might. The barbaric wind beast watched as they jumped off the mountain and rushed several miles away. Then it suddenly opened its mouth and a large wind net shot out. Nice. It purposely waited to attack to avoid damaging the mountain. Long Chen had seen through the barbaric wind beast's intent. The barbaric wind beast's mouth opened to a size of dozens of meters. The wind net it shot out was highly condensed and didn't end up changing shape as it shot out. The wind net was like lightning, instantly arriving behind the three of them. Seeing that they couldn't get away, Xiao Mingxian and the other chosen all erupted with their greatest strength. Runes lighting up all over their bodies. Their swords slashed out behind them. The distant Long Chen was horrified by what he saw. Their weapons instantly exploded when they collided with the wind net. The wind net wasn't impacted in the slightest. It directly swept over the two of them, making them explode into pieces. In front of that huge net. These two powerful chosen were like ants without the slightest ability to resist. That gave Long Chen a fright. At the same time, he rejoiced that he hadn't dared go provoke that barbaric wind beast. To dare challenge the barbaric wind beast. These two really were brave. Seeing the sky full of blood mist, Long Chen muttered out some praise. Unfortunately, those two had already died, and they didn't get to hear Long Chen's sarcasm. Han Xianfen was horrified to see the two people behind him be instantly killed. Since he couldn't get away, he suddenly roared, and countless runes appeared between his hands. He slammed them down on the earth, great earthen walls. Following his shout, Long Chen was surprised to see a dirt yellow mark appear on his forehead. 
A total of nine walls of rock shot out of the ground. Each one of those walls was three meters thick and thirty meters tall. Runes glowed with a metallic light on them. They appeared incredibly sturdy and emitted a powerful pressure. Even though he was an enemy, Long Chen had no choice but to admire him. Han Xian Feng truly was terrifying. Long Chen had never before seen such a high defensive ability. At the same time, he understood that Han Xian Feng possessed a defensively powerful earth attribute energy. That terrifying wind net smashed into the nine barriers, and completely destroyed them before continuing onwards at Han Xian Feng. Han Xian Feng roared, and formed a strange hand seal. Suddenly, the ground beneath his feet split open like a gaping maw and swallowed him. The terrifying wind net slammed into the earth. A huge crater blew open, and even Han Xian Feng was sent flying from the ground. However, after those nine walls, the wind net had lost over half its energy, hiding underground. He had only received a small portion of the remaining force. But even so, Han Xian Feng turned pale with fright. If he hadn't thought of this idea at the last moment, he would definitely have been at least heavily injured. As soon as he shot out of the earth, he frantically fled. Such a powerful ancient magical beast was not something he could handle. Seeing that it hadn't killed Han Xian Feng in one blow, the barbaric wind beast suddenly opened its mouth. However, this time it didn't spit out anything, but inhaled. Not good. Long Chen was startled. Although the barbaric wind beast wasn't purposely targeting him, its terrifying attractive force still affected him. Long Chen felt his body begin to float up. He stabbed Devil Decapitator into the rock, tightly holding on. That terrifying attractive force increased over time, and Long Chen felt as if he were in a raging flood of water that was trying to pull him over. The only thing keeping him from flying out was Devil Decapitator. Fuck, this monster's too terrifying. Long Chen cursed inside. That mouth wasn't even pointed at him, but he still felt he was close to flying over. He could only bitterly endure. If he dared use his spiritual key, that might alert the barbaric wind beast. Then he really would be screwed. As for Han Xian Feng, he had fled less than a mile when he felt his body become light, and he involuntarily flew back. The barbaric wind beast's mouth was pitch black and was covered with sharp teeth. It appeared sinister and chilling. Han Xian Feng had no ability to resist in midair. He quickly began to fly towards the barbaric wind beast's mouth. If he was swallowed, then there was zero chance he would live. Clenching his teeth, a dark gold rectangular piece of paper suddenly appeared in his hand. That yellow paper was around two inches wide and half a foot long. Bizarre lines were drawn on top of it that caused the space around it to fluctuate. Talisman. Long Chen had been carefully paying attention, and the instant he saw Han Xian Feng take out that paper, he was filled with shock. Talisman experts could use their powerful spiritual strength to use specialized talisman liquid and paper to create talisman seals that could release terrifying effects. Talisman experts were extremely rare, much, much rarer than alchemists. Medicinal pills were everywhere in the cultivation world, but there were very few talismans. The majority of the talismans were all at the hands of the large sects. Frankly speaking, only rich powers were able to afford them. That was because talismans were one-time use items. Even low-level talismans cost thousands of spirit stones. Long Chen's monastery did not possess such luxury goods. So seeing Han Xian Feng pull out a talisman infuriated Long Chen. Perhaps that was a classic hatred towards the rich. Han Xian Feng let go of the talisman. Due to being so light, it was instantly pulled into the barbaric wind beast's open mouth. He then formed a hand seal. Boom. Chapter 348 Obtaining the Wind Spirit Crystal Translator Born to be Boom Once the talisman entered the barbaric wind beast's mouth, it exploded. A piercing light shone out and the world rocked. What terrifying energy! Long Chen was shocked. That little paper contained a mountain-shattering berserk energy. The barbaric wind beast let out an angry snarl. Just its voice caused the dome of the sky to quiver. It's injured. Long Chen noticed some blood stains on its mouth. However, it was clearly not a fatal injury. The talisman's explosion cut off the barbaric wind beast's inhalation. The instant Han Xian Feng's feet touched the ground, he fled for his life. A single talisman was worth thousands of spirit stones. Even he felt pain using one. However, after seeing that his powerful talisman had been unable to cause any heavy injury even though it had exploded in its mouth, Han Xian Feng completely gave up on obtaining this wind spirit crystal. The ground suddenly trembled. The wind spirit beast six feet stamped on the ground, and it shot forward at Han Xian Feng, looking like some six-legged serpent. Its body was huge like a mountain, but its speed was quick as lightning. Furthermore, 
It also shot out a three-meter-thick sphere at Han Xianfeng's back. Han Xianfeng hastily dodged to the side, avoiding that sphere. Shooting past his body, that sphere shot straight through the mountain in front of him. Rumbling could be heard as the sphere pierced straight through multiple mountains. With the heavy mist, it was impossible to tell just how far that attack had reached. However, from the sound, perhaps that one attack had managed to pierce through hundreds of miles of mountains. That was too frightening. If you were struck by that kind of attack, you would instantly turn into a bloody mist. Even your bones wouldn't remain. Han Xianfeng fled frantically, but the furious barbaric wind beast closely pursued. The two of them almost instantly entered a mountain valley and disappeared. However, the continuous rumbling of the barbaric wind beast's attacks continued to ring out. Little Feng Zi, you're not bad, praised Long Chen inside. Not daring to tarry, he quickly rushed over to the mountain of wind spirit stones. This mountain of wind spirit stones seemed to have bizarrely grown out of the ground. They could be easily dug out with hands. There were several little indents which had been dug out by Xiao Mingxian and the other chosen. Rather than bothering with the countless wind spirit stones, Long Chen quickly climbed up to the peak. The wind that the wind spirit crystal was constantly releasing blew his robes back, and was so powerful that he had to use his full strength to resist it. It looked like a large wind spirit stone, appearing around seven feet long. It looked almost like a large icicle that had been stabbed into the mountain. Gripping the wind spirit crystal, Long Chen pulled up with his full physical strength. He realized that the wind spirit crystal felt like it had grown out of the mountain, and no matter how hard he pulled, all that happened was the mountain continuously shook. Countless wind spirit stones began to come off the mountain and were blown out by the terrifying gales. Sheet. Long Chen's expression changed. At least tens of thousands of wind spirit stones had now shot out because of him. Han Xianfeng and the barbaric wind beast definitely hadn't run that far yet. This many wind spirit stones flying out would definitely be sensed by them. As a fifth rank magical beast, the barbaric wind beast's intelligence was close to a human's, and it would definitely realize what was going on. Divine Ring, Feng Fu Battle Armor, Long Chen no longer had any misjivings and released his full strength. His divine ring appeared behind him, and a star shone in his eyes. Crack. The huge wind spirit crystal was finally unable to endure, and rose out of the mountain. Yes, Long Chen celebrated. He directly stored it into one of his spatial rings. But when his spiritual strength attempted to absorb it, instead of entering his spatial ring, his spatial ring exploded. What? It can't be absorbed into a spatial ring. Long Chen was startled. It was a good thing that this spatial ring was just one of his battle spoils, and all the good things inside it had long since been put away by Long Chen so its loss wasn't anything major. However, if there was no way to put it into his spatial ring, then he really was screwed. It wasn't as if he could carry such a huge wind spirit crystal while running. If he really attempted that, he would be like a beacon of light in the night. The barbaric wind beast would hunt him down, and even if he could escape, he would become a target for countless others. Awu. Ah Suddenly, Little Snow let out a roar from his spiritual space. Long Chen was filled with ecstatic relief. He hastily let out Little Snow, and Little Snow quickly placed the Wind Spirit Crystal in his mouth. Nice job Little Snow. Long Chen activated his spiritual strength, returning Little Snow into his spiritual space. As soon as Little Snow returned to the spiritual space, he spat out the Wind Spirit Crystal. However, his mouth had still been badly mutilated. The energy contained within the Wind Spirit Crystal was too violent. Although Little Snow hadn't attacked it, in order to draw it into the spiritual space, he had needed to keep it tightly bound in his mouth, which had been extremely dangerous. Although that had succeeded, Little Snow had been badly injured by the wind that was naturally released by the wind spirit crystal. Seeing Little Snow not hesitate to be injured for him, Long Chen felt both emotionally moved as well as sad. He owed Little Snow far too much. Once the wind spirit crystal entered his spiritual space, although it continued to emit its terrifying pressure and wind, this spiritual space was not the same as a spatial ring's space. Space was not necessarily static in this spiritual space. Although there were dashing winds within his spiritual space now, there were no signs that it would cause the space to collapse. Long Chen gave Little Snow some healing pills. Although those injuries looked frightening, they weren't serious. They had only been caused because Little Snow's mouth naturally didn't have any defensive ability. He would be healed quickly. Suddenly, a furious roar shook the heavens. Long Chen jumped. That fellow had definitely sensed something was wrong and was crazily rushing back. That was because once the wind spirit crystal had been placed in the spiritual space, 
the wind spirit stones had naturally stopped blowing out, and the mountain valleys became a deathly calm. Originally, Long Chen should have immediately rushed off. However, in the end, he wasn't able to overcome his greed. He raised Devil Decapitator and slashed it down on the mountain, with his Divine Ring and Feng Fu battle armor supporting him. His saber cut off a 30-meter segment from the top of the mountain peak. He quickly absorbed that portion into a spatial ring. Although he didn't get a close look, Long Chen estimated the Wind Spirit Stones in that segment numbered at least in the millions. After gathering them, Long Chen quickly shot far away. Just as he was about to disappear into a mountain valley, an enormous figure appeared where that small mountain was. Seeing the Wind Spirit Crystal had disappeared, the barbaric wind beast seemed to go insane and let out a furious roar. Sheet, I was noticed. As I thought, you can't be too greedy. Long Chen entered the mountain valley. If he had just been a hair faster, he would have disappeared from the barbaric wind beast's line of sight. But unfortunately, he was still just a bit too slow and was noticed. The barbaric wind beast once more let out a heaven-shaking roar and charged at Long Chen. Long Chen immediately felt numb. He used the netherworld ghost steps to rush forward like a phantom, fleeing as fast as lightning. Boom. An attack narrowly shot past Long Chen, piercing straight through the mountain by his side. That terrifying power made Long Chen's heart pound. That barbaric wind beast was too fast. Even while using the netherworld ghost steps at its max speed, Long Chen was unable to throw it off. The thing that vexed Long Chen the most was that these mountain valleys almost formed a maze, and yet there were many parts he went through that were perfectly straight, giving an advantage to the barbaric wind beast. There were several times when Long Chen was almost struck by its attacks. Damn it, the surroundings have been completely changed by this fellow. I can't find my original markers. Long Chen realized that many of the mountain valleys had been wrecked by the barbaric wind beast's attacks, and he could no longer sense the closest spirit guide pills he had buried. He could only run as fast as he could. At the same time, he spread out his divine sense in an attempt to find any of his untouched markers. Oh, that little fellow hasn't run. Long Chen's spiritual strength hadn't found any of his spirit guide pills, but he had found Han Shian Feng. He was currently hiding in an unremarkable corner of a mountain valley. After thinking for just a moment, Long Chen understood that Han Shian Feng was extremely crafty. He had most definitely sensed something and was preparing to go steal the Wind Spirit Crystal. Although Long Chen was aware the Wind Spirit Crystal had already been taken, there were still countless Wind Spirit Stones there. Long Chen's last attack had only cut off less than a tenth of the total mountain. This Han Shian Fen was definitely no good person. Previously, Long Chen had already heard him set his intentions on Tang Wan'er and Ye's Hikyu, which infuriated Long Chen. Do you think that my, Long Chen's, women can be lusted after by you? If he drew away the barbaric wind beast, allowing Han Shian Fen to collect that huge amount of wind spirit stones, Long Chen would definitely end up coughing up blood. There was no way Long Chen would let Han Shian Feng take advantage of him like that. At this time, Han Shian Feng had an astonished expression and was hiding in a corner. He felt that the situation was a bit unusual. He suspected that it was very likely that someone else had also entered the Misty Mountain Valleys. Thinking of the previous signs he had run into, he thought of an extremely infuriating possibility that he had been used by someone else. He wanted to go back and see what was going on but he could sense that the barbaric wind beast was still in the vicinity. He had also heard its berserk roar, so he didn't dare show himself. However, he could still be considered an audacious person. He was preparing to hide himself until he found a good opportunity to fish up some benefits. Even if he couldn't obtain anything, he still had to find out who it was that had schemed against him. Otherwise, he felt as if he might die from anger. Unfortunately, he had no idea that his extremely hidden position had already been noticed by Long Chen and that Long Chen was already planning on working together with him to get away from the barbaric wind beast. As Long Chen fled, he was constantly changing angles and was calculating the barbaric wind beast's attack frequency. Suddenly, a terrifying attack shot out from behind him. He, finally, Long Chen suddenly dodged to the side. That attack shot past him, going straight for a certain corner of a mountain. That mountain was right behind where Han Shian Feng was currently hiding. Chapter 349 Han Shian Feng Vomits Blood Translator Born to be Han Shian Feng had hidden himself very securely. From the intense tremors, he could tell the barbaric wind beast was currently chasing someone and heading in his direction. A cruel sneer appeared on his face. He wanted to see just who dared use him as a tool. At this moment, 
he heard a noise coming from the other side of the mountain valley. He hesitated about whether or not he should sneak over to look. Boom. Suddenly, the mountain valley behind him exploded. It happened so quickly and out of nowhere, that he didn't even have time to raise any defenses. A large portion of the mountain slammed into him from above, causing him to vomit a mouthful of blood. A pity it was slightly slanted. Long Chen's divine sense had seen it extremely clearly. If the barbaric wind beast's attack had been just a few meters lower, Han Shianfen would have been instantly killed. With the mountain valley in front of him pierced through, Long Chen shot through the opening without hesitation. When he ran above where Han Shianfen was buried, he even viciously slammed his foot down before continuing forward. Han Shianfen, who was buried by rubble, felt a huge force transmit through the ground and shake his organs, causing him to vomit another mouthful of blood. Although the previous attack from the barbaric wind beast hadn't struck him directly, it had already shaken his inner organs. Now adding on Long Chen's intentional blow with his foot, his injuries were exacerbated. However, as a top expert, despite being buried under the rubble, his divine sense still locked onto Long Chen. Although he was unable to clearly see Long Chen's figure, he could tell it was a person, which proved that his guess had been right, and that someone had been using him. This fucker, Han Shianfeng shook with fury. How could he, a grand chosen, have ever endured such frustration? How could he not tell that Long Chen's kick to the ground was intentional? In his fury, he recklessly charged out of the rubble and stuck out his head, just happening to see Long Chen's figure disappear. Monastery robes. Han Shianfen ground his teeth. He had recognized the robes, but the mark of the monastery number was on the front, and he couldn't see it. So he had actually been used by a monastery disciple. He was about to go berserk. There was actually someone in the monastery who would treat him like this. Just as he was about to explode from anger, a huge claw descended down, and he instinctively pulled his head back into the ground. Boom. The ground quivered and Han Shianfen felt as if a mountain had fallen on him causing him to vomit another mouthful of blood. When he dizzily stuck his head out of the ground again, he felt as if all his bones had been broken. He vaguely managed to see the barbaric wind beast's huge figure wildly rushing out of his vision range. A-H-H. -H. Intolerable. Han Shianfen clenched his teeth furiously. Previously he had been stepped on by Long Chen, and now he had even been viciously stepped on by the barbaric wind beast. If he didn't know that this barbaric wind beast had already reached full maturity, and there was no way to tame it. He would have thought those two had purposely worked together to humiliate him. Bastard. I won't let you off like this. I'll definitely find who you are. And when I do, I'll tear you apart. Han Shianfeng viciously swore. Han Shianfeng began to follow in the direction Long Chen had left. He chased for over a hundred miles when he heard a distant rumbling that was quickly approaching him. They're returning? HMPH. Are you going to let me see who you are this time? Han Shianfen looked around and saw a good place to hide himself behind a boulder. He hid and waited, but he was disappointed to see that whoever it was that was fleeing from the barbaric wind beast wouldn't pass through here. Their path was two mountains over, and he didn't dare go over to look. If he appeared himself, then that might very well draw the barbaric wind beast's fury. Just as he was hesitating about whether or not to switch locations, the ground trembled, and he was delighted to see that this time, that fleeing person was getting closer. He was definitely getting closer. Much, much closer. Boom. The mountain beside Han Shianfen once more exploded. Before he had even realized what was going on, he was buried. But this time his injury was even more severe, and he vomited three mouthfuls of blood. Bang. After vomiting those three mouthfuls of blood, he felt the ground above him sink again, and a violent energy pressed down on him. Han Shianfen once more vomited out a mouthful of blood. But before he could even get angry, an even greater pressure descended from above, and he felt as if his body might explode. Hastily circulating his spiritual key, he stubbornly withstood the pressure, feeling as if he might instead explode with rage. This time was the exact same as last time, except now his injuries were even worse. Crawling out of the ground, he noticed that the two of them had already disappeared before he could get a glimpse of them. You got MN bastards. Just wait for me. Angry veins bulged across his forehead. However, he still maintained his reasoning and didn't go chase after them. Is that bastard doing this intentionally? Doing his best to suppress his rage. He calmed himself down to consider what had happened. This was definitely too coincidental. This bastard very likely possesses some unknown way to track down my location. TCH. I can't continue like this. I should first go back to those wind spirit stones. 
Han Xianfen absolutely refused to believe that Long Chen's spiritual strength was powerful enough to cover such a huge distance. He also refused to believe a disciple's spiritual strength could reach the level that even he was unable to sense it. So he assumed Long Chen must possess some sort of treasure on him that was allowing him to keep track of the surroundings, which was also why he would dare enter the misty mountain valleys. Once he thought of all that, he calmed down greatly. He no longer bothered trying to figure out who that person was. As long as they didn't die, he would find out their identity sooner or later. The wind spirit crystal was more important. Consuming a healing pill, he began rushing back to that place. Long Chen had brought the barbaric wind beast to attack Han Xianfen twice, but its attacks had missed him, causing Long Chen to sigh regretfully. At the same time, he cursed the barbaric wind beast for not being accurate enough. However, that was not something he could control. He could only continue running. In truth, the barbaric wind beast's top speed was definitely greater than his. However, these mountain valleys crisscrossed like a maze, and there was no way for it to release its full speed. All it could do was furiously roar and continue chasing. Oh, as the saying goes, if you worry about something, it'll happen. That little fellow is actually going back. TCH, I'm working so hard, yet this fellow's being lazy. My treasures aren't so easily taken by others. You'll have to come and do some work with me. Long Chen started rushing back to that mountain of wind spirit stones. This time, Long Chen was essentially going in a straight line because the barbaric wind beast's attacks had already destroyed the original mountains. Long Chen was rushing back at his top speed, but the barbaric wind beast was even faster. The two of them were like two bolts of lightning returning to their original location. Back in that spot, Han Xianfen was glaring at the mountain of wind spirit stones, seeing that the top portion of it was gone. He was both shocked and infuriated. Although he had been prepared for this sight, seeing that top treasure disappear, he was still unable to suppress his fury. You better wait for me. I'll definitely make you spit out my treasures. Han Xianfeng furiously ground his teeth. However, while he temporarily couldn't obtain that wind spirit crystal, this mountain of wind spirit stones was still a huge treasure. If he gathered them all, he would instantly become the richest disciple of all the monasteries. These wind spirit stones were more than what the first monastery could possibly save up in tens of thousands of years. Compared to ordinary spirit stones, these wind spirit stones were much more precious. The market price was around three ordinary spirit stones for one wind spirit stone. Furthermore, wind spirit stones rarely ever went on the market. Although a portion of this mountain had been cut away, the remaining portion definitely contained tens of millions of wind spirit stones. With that kind of wealth, who could possibly compare to him in terms of money? With that kind of wealth, he would be able to raise a huge army and entice all kinds of geniuses. He would no longer be suppressed by his big brother. Han Xianfeng had been carefully scrutinizing this mountain of wind spirit stones and pondering on how to absorb the whole thing into a spatial ring when the ground began to rock and he heard a whistling wind behind him. He hastily turned back to see a person shooting over at this place like an arrow. The dozen miles between them would be crossed in just the blink of an eye. Bastard. How dare you use me. Die. Han Xianfen was both startled and infuriated to see that this fellow was extremely crafty. He had torn off the marking representing which monastery he came from. These robes only showed that he was an ordinary core disciple of a monastery. Furthermore, the most hateful thing about him was that he was wearing a mask to conceal who he was. If it had just been an ordinary mask. Han Xianfen wouldn't be so irritated, but this bastard was actually wearing a large baby head mask. That smile of the baby mask was clearly a naked taunt. Thinking of everything he had experienced because of this fellow, Han Xianfen's hair was standing on end from anger. A dirt yellow spear appeared in his hands and he stabbed it at Long Chen. This spear somehow gave off the sensation of being incredibly heavy, as if the land around it was supporting it with some kind of special energy. Even the space around it seemed as if it might explode in the face of the spear's pressure. In response to that spear, Long Chen also took out a large hammer. Boom. The ground shook. Long Chen's hammer was instantly sent flying, disappearing from sight. After sending his hammer flying, for some reason, Han Xianfeng suddenly had a bad feeling. Seeing the smile of that baby mask, his expression changed. Sheet. He finally realized what was wrong. The reason he had sent his hammer flying wasn't because he was stronger, but intentional. All his energy had been spent on sending that hammer flying, and now this unknown fellow had arrived right in front of him. A ball of violet lightning appeared in Long Chen's hand. The instant that ball of lightning appeared, 
The void began to shiver and a terrifying pressure shot out. Here, a gift. Don't be courteous. Thunder force exploded out, causing all of heaven and earth to tremble. Anyone in range would have turned blind from the light. Boom. Han Cheyenne Fen used his spear to block this attack. Although he wasn't able to see, he was able to use his intuition to block the lightning ball. Blocking it, he felt numbness course through his body. Furthermore, the light was too blinding and he couldn't see. In a short moment, Han Cheyenne Fen recovered his vision just in time to see a huge, scaled claw smashing down on him. Chapter 350 Unrelenting Chase Translator Born to be by the time Han Cheyenne Feng's vision returned, he was horrified to see that the unknown person had disappeared, and replacing him was a large scale, covered claw that was even larger than a house smashing down at him. He was shocked, infuriated, and panicked. He had no time to figure out what had just happened. Circulating all his power, a rock-like texture appeared over his arms. His arms swelled, and seemed to have been covered by a layer of rock. The sleeves of his robes exploded. Star Rock Arms. Han Cheyenne Feng roared, and the instant he used his abilities, his arm strength multiplied by several times. His spear ruthlessly smashed into the barbaric wind beast's claw. Boom. Even the distant Long Chen sensed the earth quiver intensely. But the most shocking thing was that the powerful barbaric wind beast was actually forced back several meters. Previously, Long Chen had intentionally used Thunder Force to confuse Han Cheyenne Feng. He didn't want to face off against him directly, not because he was afraid of him, but simply because this wasn't the right time. Furthermore, Han Cheyenne Fen was definitely terrifyingly powerful. Long Chen had no idea how many trump cards he possessed. He had no assurance in being able to beat him. Using all opportunities and resources as your own was the way of the king. To use the least investment to make the greatest return was the smartest option. Although Han Cheyenne Feng had managed to block the barbaric wind beast's attack, he was also sent flying by its power. He smashed into the small mountain of wind spirit stones. That powerful impact caused quite a few wind spirit stones to fly out. Han Cheyenne Feng's body trembled, and an unhealthy flush appeared on his face. Long Chen also noticed that his rock-like arms had been cracked. Even with his star rock arms, his arms were still bleeding. However, Long Chen was still shocked by Han Cheyenne Feng's power. The barbaric wind beast was a fifth rank magical beast, which was equivalent to the human meridian opening realm. Moreover, the barbaric wind beast was an overlord amongst fifth rank magical beasts, and other than the fact that it couldn't control natural energy, it was practically a match for Xi'anshan experts. The fact that Han Xi'anfen could use his tendon transformation cultivation base to block one of its blows meant he was definitely an expert amongst experts. Clap, clap, clap. Han Cheyenne Feng's power aroused Long Chen's applause. Only now did Han Cheyenne Feng notice that baby masked person clapping, causing him to turn green with fury. He was just about to say something when he suddenly stopped breathing. A terrifying pressure had locked down on him. A huge tail was whipping towards him. Han Cheyenne Feng's full strength attack had ended up injuring the barbaric wind beast's claw, which had completely infuriated it. Its tail was hundreds of meters long, and it lashed down on him like a divine whip. The barbaric wind beast had always been using its wind energy to attack. Its energy was located within its needon. In addition, its scales also possessed a terrifying amount of energy. However, its strongest attacking tool was its tail. Even before it arrived, it had already caused the air to explode, and its terrifying pressure made it so Han Cheyenne Feng could barely even move a finger. In the face of that terrifying blow, Han Cheyenne Feng was shocked. He was also infuriated especially when he saw that baby-masked fellow just clapping his hands as if watching a play. Seeing this attack arriving, Han Cheyenne Feng was unable to even dodge. He clenched his teeth and took out another ancient talisman. Little brat, you better wait. I'll fucking kill you. Just before the barbaric wind beast's tail was about to reach him, Han Cheyenne Feng crushed the talisman in his hand, instantly disappearing from Long Chen's eyes. The scenery in front of Han Cheyenne Feng changed. He appeared atop a large mountain. He hastily took out a map and compared it to the surroundings. A furious row rang out. Bastard, you're definitely dead. In that moment of crisis, he had activated an extremely precious random teleportation talisman. They were all life-saving treasures. He only had possessed two of them. One of them was a close-range teleportation talisman, while the other was a long-range teleportation talisman. Once such talismans were crushed, they would instantly teleport you to a location a set distance from where you activated it. 
the close-range teleportation talisman had a range of around 3,000 miles. As for which direction, that was up to luck. As for the long-range teleportation talisman, it had a range of greater than 30,000 miles. He had originally been planning on using the short-range teleportation talisman. However, in his panic, he had ended up taking out the wrong one. From looking at the map, he realized he was currently around 40,000 miles from the Misty Mountain Valleys. Even if he rushed back at his full speed, it would still require several days from him to make it back there. More importantly, this was the Giuli secret realm, and it was filled with countless dangers. He was unable to rush around so brazenly, and if he were to travel carefully, then it would take over a month for him to reach the Misty Mountains Valleys again. By that time, it would be far too late. He had been planning on using the short-range teleportation talisman, which should have allowed him to return to the Misty Mountain Valleys quickly. Perhaps he could have guarded the outside to wait for that fellow to come out, or perhaps gather some sort of benefits. In any case, he would have been able to do something, but now there was nothing he could do. He wouldn't be able to obtain any treasure, and two of his recently acquired loyal followers had died. The most infuriating thing was that he had no idea who had done this. A-H-H-H. Once I find out who you are, I'll definitely tear you apart piece by piece. Han Xianfeng looked up at the sky and let out a furious roar. The fury in his voice seemed to be enough to set a mountain aflame, and his handsome features were twisted into a malevolent expression. While Han Xianfeng was releasing all his fury, feeling as if he might explode, Long Chen was stunned by Han Xianfeng's shocking methods. That ground beetle really does have money. He even had a teleportation talisman. Teleportation talismans were not ordinary talismans. They required a talisman grandmaster who was above the Xi'anshan realm in order to be created. Creating talismans was similar to alchemy in that different talismans had different difficulty levels to create. Talisman experts all hated creating teleportation talismans the most. One reason was because of the high failure rate, while the other reason was that it required an incredibly high level of spiritual strength. Thus, teleportation talismans were something that couldn't necessarily be bought with just money. In any case, Long Chen had heard that the cheapest teleportation talismans were sold for at least tens of thousands of spirit stones. In fact, some were priced in the hundred thousands. To the poor, pauper Long Chen, he didn't even bother finding out the exact price, as he was afraid it would give him too big of a blow. This was the first time Long Chen encountered someone using teleportation talismans. Along with his shock, he also felt a kind of injustice, as if all the good stuff in the world had been taken away by pigs. Boom. Since Han Xianfeng had disappeared, the barbaric wind beast's tail ended up smashing into the small mountain. The mountain was like a bamboo shoot that had been severed, and it was sent flying at Long Chen. He was delighted. This was the moment he had been waiting for. He shot into the air, placing a large hand on the flying mountain. All of Long Chen's spiritual strength flowed out, and this small mountain that was formed of countless wind spirit stones disappeared in midair. If Long Chen had been by himself, then absorbing such a mountain would definitely have been almost impossible without more work. However, now that it had been severed and was in midair, he used the same principle as he used back when he had gathered the forging table from the ancient tomb. This was much easier. And yet, even so, Long Chen felt the majority of his vast spiritual strength disappear in order to absorb this huge entity. A slight pain filled his head. However, in any case, he had at least managed to gather the treasure. Having obtained all these wind spirit stones, Long Chen had no choice but to thank the corrupt chosen he had killed previously. Long Chen hadn't possessed such a large spatial ring as he had, but from the corrupt chosen, he had obtained a spatial ring that possessed a space of a cubic mile. After obtaining that small mountain, Long Chen didn't tarry any longer. He immediately scampered away. The misty mountain valleys no longer held anything that was worth him sticking around. However, Long Chen might want to leave with his happy memories of this place, but the barbaric wind beast wasn't so willing to let him. It let out a furious roar, and it suddenly shot at Long Chen. Terrifying spheres of wind blades constantly destroyed the mountains around him. Long Chen was fleeing miserably, constantly dodging. This was the first time Long Chen began to feel some gratefulness to the corrupt path. If it hadn't been for Gui Sha, then without the agility and speed of the netherworld ghost steps, he would have long since been eaten alive. A marker. Long Chen suddenly sensed one of the spirit guide pills he had buried and began rushing in that direction. Long Chen rushed as fast as he could while dodging the barbaric wind beast's attacks. 
He didn't dare be the slightest bit careless, as it was too terrifying. If he was struck, he would definitely be at least heavily injured, if not dead. The netherworld ghost steps was an extremely exquisite technique, and it was at an especially high level when it came to sudden changes in direction. He was like a phantom, and was saved by this technique several times. Suddenly, light appeared in front of him, and the mist began to fade. Long Chen no longer needed to rely on his divine sense to see his surroundings. Now that he had left the mountain valleys, Long Chen began to take larger strides, speeding along like a bolt of lightning, appearing a hundred miles away in just an instant. Eh? Who is that? What terrifying speed. He's wearing a mask, so I can't tell. Heavens. Did he just come out of the misty mountain valleys? There were some people in the vicinity who caught a glimpse of this masked man rushing out from within the misty mountain valleys. But wasn't it said that if you entered the misty mountain valleys, you would never be able to leave? The ground began to rumble, the mountain valley swaying intensely as if there was an earthquake. All their expressions changed. A powerful wind shot out, and a huge figure rushed out, chasing after Long Chen, crossing dozens of miles in the blink of an eye. All of them turned lifeless. After a long moment, someone rubbed his eyes, unable to believe what he had just seen. Just who was that? In a single breath, Long Chen crossed a thousand miles. He had already pushed his speed to his peak but the barbaric wind beast behind him was still drawing ever closer. This time it's really troublesome. Long Chen began to swear inside. Sure enough, a person couldn't be too greedy. If he had fled as the barbaric wind beast had attacked Han Xianfeng, he would have long since strutted away from it. Just as Long Chen was racking his brain for ideas on how to escape the giant monster behind him, Little Snow's voice rang out within his spiritual space. Chapter 351 Speed and Enthusiasm Translator Born to be Aohaha, Little Snow, you really are getting smarter and smarter. Little Snow had used his spiritual strength to suggest a method to get away, and this method instantly elevated Long Chen's mood. At the same time, he was amazed by Little Snow's intelligence. Even higher-ranking magical beasts only possessed a simple intelligence. They were definitely not so smart. Magical beasts were inherently brutal and bloodthirsty. They mostly acted only on instinct without ever thinking anything through. There were only a small portion of them with gentler temperaments. However, the Scarlet Flame Snow Wolves were not in that category. Little Snow was very close to Long Chen emotionally, and he rarely ever expressed his own desires. He always listened to what Long Chen told him. However, surprisingly, Little Snow's intelligence had clearly risen after advancing to the fourth rank, and he was able to think of ways to help Long Chen. An example would be how he had helped Long Chen absorb the Wind Spirit Crystal into his spiritual space. If Little Snow hadn't suggested that, Long Chen wouldn't have thought of it. The highest level a Scarlet Flame Snow Wolf had ever reached was the peak of the third rank. Long Chen had never heard of a magical beast that was able to step over the barriers of their inherited bloodline. However, Little Snow's body had been changed by the Spirit World Expert. Later, Long Chen had then refined a Xi'anchen blood essence pill to further transform his body. Such opportunities were incredibly rare, and they had finally allowed Little Snow to break out of his shackles and become a mutated Scarlet Flame Snow Wolf. Ignoring the increase of his power, just the increase in Little Snow's intelligence made it so he wouldn't be inferior to any human. Long Chen was still fleeing with all his might, while behind him was the barbaric wind beast that was as large as a mountain. Its scaled body was tied on his heels. The two of them had both reached their top speed now. However, Long Chen was unable to control wind energy. At this speed, the powerful air resistance slowed him down greatly. As Long Chen fled, a line of dust rose wherever he passed, looking like a huge dragon speeding along, appearing incredibly spectacular. But the barbaric wind beast was still drawing closer. When it was 10 miles away, it slowly opened its mouth, and a huge sphere made of wind energy began to condense. Long Chen had been using his spiritual strength to keep track of every single one of the barbaric wind beast's movements. When it opened its mouth, its scales all flashed with light, and a terrifying wind energy surged towards its mouth. That sphere was originally just the size of a fist, but as the energy contained within its scales was added in, it quickly grew, becoming several meters wide. A terrifying pressure caused space to tremble. Now, Long Chen suddenly circulated his spiritual strength and summoned Little Snow out of his spiritual space. Before Little Snow had even landed on the ground, a huge wind blade shot out of his mouth at the sphere in the barbaric wind beast's mouth. That sphere had just reached its energy saturation point and had been just about to shoot out when Little Snow's wind blade struck it. Boom. 
It was like explosives had been set off. Little Snow's wind blade was the trigger which caused the barbaric wind beast's attack to explode in its own mouth. Even the void seemed as if it might erupt. The barbaric wind beast was unable to keep running and ended up tumbling across the ground while letting out pained roars. Nice job Little Snow. This attack could be described as being perfect. This was all according to Little Snow's plan. And this one attack was extremely effective. This had been even more effective than the explosive talisman Han Shian Feng had used previously. Little Snow roared a reply. And Long Chen rubbed Little Snow with his hand. Wind energy brought Long Chen flying atop Little Snow's back. And Little Snow shot off into the distance. Little Snow had only just shot off when the barbaric wind beast let out a heaven-shaking roar and once more chased after them. However, this time Long Chen could see blood dripping out of its mouth. In fact, its mouth had been blown open by that attack, and he could even see its two frightening fangs that were several meters long. It really is attached to us, sighed Long Chen. But with Little Snow taking Long Chen's place to run, it gave him some time to rest. He just needed to keep watch over the barbaric wind beast's attacks. Little Snow was not at all slower than Long Chen's top speed. More importantly, Little Snow was specialized in running long distances and had much greater endurance than Long Chen. His speed wouldn't necessarily decline even after running for a full month. If Little Snow hadn't been heavily injured before, then Yun Luo would not have been able to catch up to him with his speed. Now that Little Snow's injuries were all healed, the two of them no longer had to have any misjivings. They were crazily rushing forward, the wind whistling around them. However, the air resistance no longer posed any trouble. I actually forgot that Little Snow is also a wind attribute magical beast. Then that wind spirit crystal should be of great assistance to him. Only now did Long Chen recall that as a wind attribute magical beast, Little Snow had an innate control over wind energy. Thinking of the mountain full of wind spirit stones in his spatial ring and that wind spirit crystal in his spiritual space, Long Chen's smile threatened to split his face apart. As I thought, greed is the greatest motivation for humanity to advance. Long Chen couldn't help sighing. Now it seemed he had tossed out the bit of wisdom that said a person couldn't be too greedy. The more daring a person was, the greater gains they could make. Courage was money. As I thought, a person should be humane. A good person gets good rewards. I finally learned how to have a humane heart. Holding a wind spirit stone in his hand and sensing the pure wind energy coming from it, he had an infatuated expression. If his words were to be heard by Xiao Mingxin or the other chosen, they would definitely have to come back as ghosts to get their revenge on him. Two powerful chosen had died without even knowing how, all because he had repaid enmity with kindness. Two hours passed. They had traveled thousands of miles, but that barbaric wind beast was still close behind them. It didn't show the slightest signs of exhaustion. However, what both gratified and disappointed Long Chen was that it no longer opened its mouth to attack and simply followed along. It would only occasionally let out an angry roar. If it decided to foolishly attack a couple more times, then with Little Snow's assistance, he could definitely toy this powerful beast to death. But the barbaric wind beast was smarter than that. Obviously by not attacking, it was planning on making this a battle of attrition. It was healing its injuries while chasing. Furthermore, it possessed an enormous amount of wind energy, and so it wasn't at all afraid of getting tired. Aowu, Little Snow shot past two mountains ranges, his speed increasing even more. Haha, <laughs> I know you won't lose to it. You're always the best. Long Chen lightly patted Little Snow's back. Funnily enough, Little Snow usually had the temperament of a cute child and was extremely competitive. Little Snow, don't push yourself too hard. That beast has a vast amount of energy. We'll have to prepare for a battle of endurance, warned Long Chen. Long Chen noticed that the terrain was changing. There were more and more mountain ranges, and the short underbrush was growing taller. He also saw tracks of other magical beasts. In other words, as they continued forward, they were very likely to enter the territories of other magical beasts. If they went too fast and ran into them, then if they were of a similar ranking to Little Snow, they might take the initiative to fight with them to protect their territories. But then if they kept the pace a bit slower and maintained a distance of around 5 to 10 miles from the barbaric wind beast, then its terrifying aura would make it so that other magical beasts wouldn't even dare take a look. Long Chen was sitting on Little Snow's back as they rushed along. On the way, they ran into quite a few cultivators who were searching for various treasures or opportunities. But when they saw Long Chen, Little Snow, as well as that huge mountain-like barbaric wind beast behind them, they all turned to stone. The terrifying pressure coming from the barbaric wind beast chilled them to their bones. 
Even though they were hundreds of miles away, they still felt as if their hearts were being squeezed. Just who is that? Is he playing with his life? How could he provoke a fifth-rank magical beast? None of them had recognized the barbaric wind beast, but they could all tell its rank from the pressure coming from its body. He's wearing a baby mask? When did the righteous disciples start acting like this? A corrupt favored looked on in amazement from a distance. The beaming smile on that baby mask made people feel like this person was definitely just playing around. But to play around with a fifth-rank magical beast, he was definitely playing with his life. Boom. As Long Chen and Little Snow were rushing along, a large figure appeared ahead of them. That was a three-horned monster yak. Its body was around a hundred meters long, and it emitted a much stronger pressure than Little Snow. However, once it looked in Little Snow's direction, it began to flee for its life. It would be more accurate to say that it had seen the barbaric wind beast behind Little Snow. It didn't even care about its lair. Instead immediately running. Follow it Little Snow. We need a little bit more enthusiasm here. Let's make this more lively for everyone. Under Long Chen's directions, the magical beasts in this area all fled from their lairs. Long Chen brought the barbaric wind beast running all around, alarming all the magical beasts that were hiding within their territories. They all began to flee like stray dogs. The distant experts watching this were all stupefied. The startled magical beasts were running in all directions, scaring these disciples into also fleeing frantically. Little Snow, do you feel a kind of high-spirited, excited feeling, seeing those beasts, all with their own powerful auras, being sent scattering over the hills because of the two of them? Long Chen involuntarily felt some pride. Ao Wu, he, as long as you like it, it really is too refreshing. Long Chen laughed heartily. In any case, the barbaric wind beast didn't dare attack anymore, and so they were temporarily safe. As they were rushing along, Long Chen suddenly saw a familiar figure standing in the mountains. Chapter 352 Only I, Mo Nian, will rise to glory translator, born to be that person was tall and sturdy, looking like an iron pagoda. Not a single hair grew on his head. Even though he was standing in a mountain forest, his head was like a shining full moon. Gu Yang. Long Chen smiled. He now ran into another familiar face other than Guo Ran. He was gratified to see that Gu Yang was now emitting a powerful aura. A kind of Dao charm seemed to circulate around him. He, this little fellow's not bad. He's become a favored. That aura coming from Gu Yang's body was unmistakable. However, Long Chen didn't know just whose Dao mark he had seized. But Long Chen was happy to see that Gu Yang was now holding a golden spear. The same golden spear that had been taken from him by that fellow from the 36th monastery. Currently, Gu Yang was hiding in the distance, looking in Long Chen's direction with horror. The barbaric wind beast's pressure made him feel like he couldn't even move, and a cold chill reached deep into his bones. That man and white-colored wolf running ahead of it looked to be almost hurting a large group of third to fourth rank magical beasts, scaring him witless. Looking at that snow-white beast, Gu Yang naturally felt it was familiar. However, he didn't know Little Snow had advanced to the fourth rank, and so he only felt it was somewhat familiar. The other thing he felt was familiar was that masked man's figure. An unyielding arrogance came from that body, and the more he looked at it, the more familiar it felt to him. However, he couldn't be sure. Hey, little fellow, why are you staring at me like that? Anyway, I like your hairstyle, so I'll bestow this thing to you. Gu Yang was stunned, just foolishly watching. Long Chen laughed and threw a wind spirit stone over to him. Hearing that voice, Gu Yang immediately recognized this person had to be Long Chen. Catching the wind spirit stone, he saw that Long Chen had already rushed off with his large army of magical beasts. Boss hasn't died. Gu Yang excitedly clenched the wind spirit stone. Other than the photographic jade of Long Chen killing a woman, Gu Yang had also seen one of Long Chen being chased by Yun Luo. Although that photographic jade had been recorded from a great distance. Gu Yang had clearly recognized the two of them. The majority of people all felt that the person being chased had definitely died. Although Gu Yang had confidence in Long Chen, he was still only in the blood condensation realm, so he couldn't help worrying. However, after hearing Long Chen's voice, he naturally recognized him. Furthermore, who else but Long Chen would just throw over a treasure to him? The main point that proved Long Chen's identity was the fact that Gu Yang knew no one else who would do something so crazy. Who would possibly decide to play by running around with a terrifying fifth-rank magical beast? The fact that Long Chen was in good health caused his confidence to multiply. Watching as Long Chen disappeared into the distance, Gu Yang also continued on his own adventure. 
Seeing that Gu Yang was fine also greatly improved Long Chen's mood. Danger was omnipresent within the Jiuli secret realm. Any one of them could die at any moment. To be able to see one of his fellow disciples was one of the greatest possible boosts to his morale. He felt even more enthusiasm to get going. Mush. Mush. Long Chen was constantly urging the magical beasts to continue fleeing. Billowing smoke sprang up for thousands of miles wherever Long Chen went. The distant spectators were all stunned. Who is this person? How is he so terrifying? Instead of searching for treasures, he decided to squander his time like this. If that monster behind him catches up, wouldn't he just be forfeiting his life? Some people shook their heads, not understanding what this person was doing. A group of distant corrupt disciples were being led by a chosen. They icily watched. HMPH. The righteous path city as he really is limitless. Just because they have a fast mount, they have the energy to do something like this. I bet this guy will play himself to death soon. Senior apprentice brother G is right. The righteous path is just a pack of idiots. Whenever they see us, they're like mice that have seen cats. Cowards. Another corrupt expert immediately agreed with that surname G chosen. Only our corrupt paths men are interesting. The righteous paths idiots are all impressive or looking, but absolutely trash good for nothings. An enchanting woman was holding the chosen's arm coyishly. Hey, what's going on? Those magical beasts are coincidentally coming our way. Someone let out a startled cry. Sheet, that's not a coincidence. He's purposely hurting them towards us. Run. The corrupt chosen looked down disdainfully on Long Chen and led his group away. In truth. Long Chen wasn't trying to just play around with these magical beasts. He was hoping he could draw out a magical beast on the same level as the barbaric wind beast. Then he would have a high chance of escaping. Magical beasts were all very sensitive towards their territories. That was because their territories contained what they relied on in order to survive. Whenever other magical beasts dared step into their territory, they would go all out to kill them. That was especially true of magical beasts that were the same rank as them. They would assume they had come to steal their treasures, and so they would fight with their lives on the line. If Long Chen could let this group of magical beasts into the territory of a magical beast on the same level of the barbaric wind beast, then that magical beast would definitely ignore these small fries and focus on the barbaric wind beast. Then Long Chen could run away safely, but he was disappointed that the strongest magical beast he had run into was only a blue spotted storm leopard at the peak of the fourth rank. At the beginning, that beast had come out extremely arrogantly to face off against Little Snow, but then it had seen the barbaric wind beast. Against Little Snow, it had puffed up its body arrogantly in order to scare him off, but then this immoral beast had gone from a tiger to a kitten and immediately turned to flee. That had angered Long Chen so much that he had directly cursed it. With just that little courage, how could it be considered a magical beast? What happened to its tyrannical nature? Not a single magical beast he ran into dared to bark out a single sound in the face of the barbaric wind beast. They had all fled with their tails tucked between their legs. Long Chen had wandered a whole loop without finding any opportunity to escape. Just as he had been looking around for a way to shake off the barbaric wind beast, he had suddenly noticed a group wearing corrupt path robes. He had seen them pointing at him disdainfully, although he couldn't hear what they were saying. Just looking at their idiotic expressions. He could tell they weren't saying anything good. He had already been holding back a stomach full of fire. Now seeing there were people who were actually provoking him, and that they were from the corrupt path. How could Long Chen overlook them? He guided his army of magical beasts to charge at them. The funny thing to Long Chen was that those idiots actually hadn't realized his intentions and had continued pointing at him. Only when they were under a hundred miles away did their expressions change and they began to flee for their lives. However, they had clearly underestimated these magical beasts' speed. Not everyone possessed Long Chen's speed. If Long Chen hadn't trained in the Netherworld Ghost Steps, he also wouldn't be able to run faster than these four leggers. A-H-H-H. A miserable scream rang out as a corrupt disciple was hit by a tusked porcupine, instantly turning into a bloody mist. These magical beasts didn't go out of their way to kill these corrupt disciples. They were focused on fleeing from the barbaric wind beast and they only attacked when one of them ended up getting in their way. A-H-H-H. Save me. Miserable screams continued to ring out. At this point, there were hundreds of magical beasts in Long Chen's army. They surged out like the tide, and the ground for hundreds of miles was constantly trembling. A-H-H-H. Suddenly, a woman's blood-curdling shriek rang through the air. The enchanting woman that had been by the corrupt chosen side had been pierced through by the leg of a huge spider. That spider had to be the size of a house. 
and its legs sharp end was like a small pillar, almost causing her body to split into two pieces. She was a favored with a powerful cultivation base. She had a tenacious life force, and she didn't instantly die. But that wasn't necessarily fortunate. In fact, it could be considered extremely unfortunate, as that spider's leg had many sharp barbs. Once she was pierced through, she continued to stay on the leg and was unable to free herself. Following the spider's frantic fleeing, she was constantly flung up and down, causing her to vomit blood over and over. Senior Apprentice Brother G, save me. That woman used her last strength to cry out to the corrupt chosen who was fleeing. As long as he returned and cut off its leg, then since she was a powerful favored, she would still have a chance to survive. Unfortunately, that corrupt chosen, the one who was a true man in her eyes, seemed to have gone deaf and ignored her plea. As that spider continued running, she was finally unable to endure any longer and her body broke apart. After that stampede of magical beasts, their group of over 30 corrupt disciples now only had 9 people who managed to avoid getting hit by any magical beasts. This time, they had truly taken heavy losses. One reason was that those magical beasts had turned towards them too suddenly and they hadn't been prepared. The other reason was that these magical beasts were too huge, and so it was extremely difficult to dodge them. You got MN Righteous Brat. If you have the guts then take off your mask and tell us your name. The corrupt chosen had escaped from the range of the magical beasts. His expression exceedingly ugly. He roared at the distant Long Chen. Are you talking to me? You don't have the qualifications to see my true face. However, I can let you know my name. Stand firm. Don't piss your pants once you hear my amazing name. As Long Chen continued driving the magical beasts forward, he also stood up and raised his left hand high into the air. Taking an extremely eye-catching pose, a certain person popped up in his head, and he smiled. Ten years I wandered with my bow, my arrows causing heaven and earth to shake. The nine heavens, ten lands, and all the universe will revolve around me. Only I, Mo Nian, will rise to glory. His voice contained a special cadence, and also contained a disdainful will that looked down on the nine heavens. Long Chen's voice rang out loud and clear, and those hidden experts within thousands of miles heard it. He. Mo Nian, don't you like being in the spotlight? Your brother will help you. There's no need to thank me. Long Chen laughed. This time Mo Nian's name would definitely rise to glory. Ignoring how many people heard him, Long Chen continued driving the magical beasts forward. However, Long Chen's luck really was so lacking that it was heaven defying. Even after three days of travel, he hadn't run into anything that dared face off against the barbaric wind beast. Just as he was starting to get anxious. He saw a tranquil lake ahead and celebrated. Abandoning his army of magical beasts, he urged Little Snow over to that lake. Chapter 353 Forest of Darkness Translator Born to be the lake was 3,000 miles wide and flat as a mirror. As soon as he caught sight of it, Long Chen urged Little Snow in its direction. Little Snow was extremely fast, and those thousands of miles were traversed in just a short time. Hide in the spiritual space for a moment. Long Chen activated his spiritual strength to return Little Snow to his spiritual space. Glancing back at the barbaric wind beast, he laughed mischievously. This little chase of ours is over. I'll definitely remember you, and hopefully we'll meet again. Long Chen cupped his fists in its direction and leaped into the lake, rapidly swimming to the bottom. The lake was extremely deep, almost like an abyss, and just a few dozen meters from the shore, the water level reached a depth of hundreds of meters. Suddenly, the water trembled and Long Chen felt a powerful undercurrent rushing towards him, accompanied by a terrifying pressure. He hastily swam further. He could hear the barbaric wind beast's angry roar. Long Chen knew that it was currently attacking the lake. Long Chen followed the undercurrent all the way to the center of the lake. More and more undercurrents shot out around him, most likely created by wind blades from the barbaric wind beast. However, the lake water was obstructing most of that attacking power. Other than the first few being a bit uncomfortable to Long Chen, the rest weren't able to pose any threat to him once he was deeper. At the center of the lake, the depth had reached a terrifying 3,000 meters. The water pressure was strong, but it didn't pose any danger to Long Chen. Just like that, Long Chen hid in a crack at the bottom of the lake, using his divine sense to keep track of the activity above water. At the beginning, the lake water had been constantly shaking, with countless fish being killed by the impacts. However, those impacts were unable to threaten him. The crazy bombardment continued for two hours before gradually pausing. Perhaps the barbaric wind beast had already left, 
Long Chen bitterly endured for a full day at the bottom of the lake before swimming back up to the surface. When he was about to reach the surface, he saw there were countless fish that were dead, floating on the surface. Many of them were species that Long Chen didn't recognize. Evildoer, killing the innocent, and then shamelessly wasting it all. If only Wild were here. Long Chen stealthily stuck his head out from the crowd of dead fish. When the air suddenly shook, sheet, Long Chen hastily dived back into the water. Boom. A huge wind blade shot through the water. Even though Long Chen had reacted quickly, he had only reached a depth of 30 meters before a terrifying wave of energy struck him. It was as if a hammer had smashed him, and he vomited a mouthful of blood. At the same time, a strange energy struck his head. He became incredibly dizzy, and almost directly fainted. Long Chen was horrified. He endured the intense pain in his head and continued swimming downwards. Continuous explosions rang out and Long Chen's head continued to buzz. He felt like his head might split apart. Fuck. Now I know how those fish died. They weren't killed by direct hits, but by the vibrations of the water from its attacks. Long Chen once more reached the bottom of the lake, feeling like his head might split open. This time it had really been too dangerous. If he had lost consciousness, it would have been all too likely for him to have died. This is no solution. The barbaric wind beast wants to kill me and definitely won't leave this place. I have to think of a way to get out of here. He began to swim over to the other shore. The part of the shore he chose to go to was like a steep cliff. It was still extremely deep here, and as long as he didn't swim up, he still wouldn't be noticed. However, Long Chen didn't dare climb ashore. The lake might be 3,000 miles wide, but that distance was nothing to the terrifying barbaric wind beast. With its speed and its control over wind energy, it would easily be able to run across the water. These 3,000 miles were no obstruction to it. I guess I can only use this clumsy method. Long Chen's spiritual strength spread out and a golden page appeared in front of him. He began to cut through the rock. He wanted to cut a tunnel that stretched far away enough from here that it was out of the barbaric wind beast's line of sight. Although this method was a bit clumsy, Long Chen was unable to think of a better solution. It wasn't as if he could try to compete in terms of patience. Magical beasts had shocking lifespans. A year was nothing to them. However, Long Chen would be killed if he waited a whole year. So he didn't dare compete with it in terms of patience. He still needed to go looking for more opportunities for himself. He could sense that the mysterious feeling of something summoning him was growing more intense. That should be the greatest opportunity for him. He had no idea what this golden page was made of. It was thin as paper. But when he used spiritual strength to control it, it was capable of piercing iron like it was mud. Its sharpness was terrifying. The golden page cut through this rock like a sharp blade cutting through tofu. In just a couple of breaths time, a channel thick enough for him had been cut into the rock. Long Chen did this all very carefully. He replaced the rock behind him as he went. If he made too big of a movement, then it would be noticed by the barbaric wind beast. However, Long Chen was pleasantly surprised to find that after he had excavated just a couple hundred meters, he actually managed to connect to a natural underground cave, and the best thing about it was that he could feel wind within the cave. In other words, this cave had to be connected to the surface. He sensed the wind and began walking with the wind. Generally, it was colder underground than the surface, so the wind would usually blow from underground to the surface. In less than six hours of wandering underground, Long Chen finally saw light ahead. He was filled with an incomparable sensation of freedom. He carefully went to the edge of the cave and used his divine sense to scout the surroundings. Only when Long Chen confirmed this wasn't near the lake did he dare walk out. He realized he had come out from halfway up a mountain. He hastily concealed his aura and snuck his way to the top of the mountain. As he had expected, he hadn't gone far. From the top of the mountain, he could see the lake that was now over 200 miles away. The barbaric wind beast was still closely staring into the lake. He, just keep guarding here. I'll be leaving first. Although Long Chen knew he no longer needed to be so careful here, he had truly been scared by the barbaric wind beast. He carefully crept away. Only when he was two mountains further away did he finally relax. Over these past few days of being chased by the barbaric wind beast, Long Chen might have appeared relaxed. But in truth, his nerves had been constantly stretched taut. Even now that he had shaken off the barbaric wind beast, he still almost felt like its huge head would come up from behind and swallow him at any moment. Being chased by a terrifying fifth-rank magical beast was practically a nightmare. If it had been any other person, then even if they managed to survive after being chased for that long, they probably would have had a mental collapse. Now that he was further away, 
Long Chen began to increase his speed. When he was finally tens of thousands of miles away, he finally allowed himself to completely relax. He found a hidden area to rest. His mental strain far surpassed the exhaustion of his body. Long Chen found a cave and summoned out Little Snow. With Little Snow guarding him, he slept deeply while lying on Little Snow's side. Even tendon transformation experts needed to sleep. That allowed them to relax in the face of the pressure they were under. Long Chen slept soundly for three whole days before finally opening his eyes. Feeling completely refreshed. Little Snow. Enter the spiritual space. We'll work together to make it bigger. Long Chen needed to increase the size of his spiritual space. Originally, 3,000 meters was more than enough for Little Snow. But with the addition of the Wind Spirit Crystal, there were now terrifying gales surging around in his spiritual space. Although there were no signs that it would cause the spiritual space to collapse for the moment, it was possible that it would pose a threat in the future. So now that he had escaped from the barbaric wind beast's chase, Long Chen was planning on settling this matter. Otherwise, he wouldn't be able to put his heart at ease. Once he put Little Snow in his spiritual space, Long Chen used his spiritual strength to communicate with him. I want to increase the size of the spiritual space. I'll be using the Wind Spirit Crystal's energy to evenly expand it. Little Snow, you do your best to try to spread the Wind Spirit Crystal's energy evenly throughout the space. Ao Wu, Long Chen nodded. Little Snow was still growing smarter. He was easily on the level of a human, and capable of comprehending such things. I'm starting. Don't be nervous. Long Chen took a deep breath. His mind sea shook, and his spiritual strength began to circulate. Within Long Chen's boundless mind sea, there was a small sphere that was practically just a speck of dust in this space. That was his spiritual space. Ordinary cultivators were unable to expand their spiritual space. They would normally have to destroy the original one to create a brand new spiritual space. As a person's spiritual strength grew stronger, it would allow them to create larger and more stable spiritual spaces. However, it would exhaust far more time. It could easily take months. Long Chen didn't have that much time. So Long Chen was planning on loosening the restrictions of his spiritual space, and then borrowing the Wind Spirit Crystal's energy to slowly expand it like slowly blowing a bubble. In order to do this, there were two requirements. One was that there needed to be energy inside the spiritual space that was evenly expanding it. The other was that the owner's spiritual strength had to have reached an abnormal level. Otherwise, there was a risk of the spiritual space exploding. However, this wasn't anything difficult for Long Chen and Little Snow. Three days later, the spiritual space in Long Chen's mind sea had reached a width of 30,000 meters. Long Chen gave Little Snow a thumbs up. Little Snow's control had been perfect, and there had been no danger the entire time. Long Chen adjusted himself slightly. He finally took off the baby mask and revealed his face. He would reveal his real face to the world, although that would draw over countless people wanting to kill him. He had already made his decision. In the future, he would not run from those situations. If you want to kill me, then come. I'll welcome you at any time. Looking at the map, he saw that not far from this place was a forest. A red warning marker was drawn over it. The forest of darkness. Long Chen smiled. Forests definitely had various kinds of precious medicinal ingredients. He definitely had to take a look. He began to travel in its direction. After just a couple hundred miles. The vegetation started to become increasingly dense. Suddenly, Long Chen's divine sense noticed three figures in an open space, and a pleasantly surprised expression appeared on his face. I thought I'd have to search everywhere for you, but instead, you appear in front of me like this. He, Chapter 354 I guess I've finally caught you translator. Born to be the forest of darkness was marked in red, indicating it was an extremely dangerous area. It spread for millions of miles and it was extremely gloomy, adding on the dense vegetation that concealed all kinds of unknown magical beasts. A person might lose their life there at any moment. The Jiuli secret realm had several well-known danger areas. The forest of darkness was said to be even more dangerous than the misty mountain valleys. That was because the misty mountain valleys were simply filled with a terrifyingly thick mist. As long as you didn't enter deeply into that mist, the danger level wasn't necessarily high. However, the forest of darkness was different. It looked like just an ordinary forest, but there were countless vicious beasts and poisonous insects hidden within it. Perhaps a single ant would be able to easily kill a tendon transformation expert. All these fatal threats were hidden in places you couldn't even see. Those threats might come out and take your life at any moment. You could defend against dangers you could see. They weren't dangerous. 
but the unseen dangers were the most frightening. By the time you realized you were in a perilous situation, you would already be dead. However, the forest of darkness was extremely vast, and it was said there were countless relics from ancient times, as well as countless medicinal ingredients. In fact, it was said that there had been people who had obtained an unaging medicine. Once someone consumed it, it was said they would never grow older, allowing them to maintain their youthful appearance. Even up to the day you died, you would never age. That was a treasure countless female cultivators would go mad for. There were also legends that people had obtained heaven-defying treasures that were able to promote the level of a person's spirit root. There were also stories of spirit medicines that were capable of roving around the forest. There were even legends that people had obtained immortal grass. Just a single whiff of it was supposed to allow someone to shed their mortal body. In short, there were all kinds of legends and myths. But even though people knew these legends were exaggerated, they still caused people to go a bit crazy. All the various large sects classified this as one of the top important places of the secret realm. So despite its fearful reputation, there were still countless experts who risked their lives to go there. As for Long Chen, he had only just approached the fringes of the Forest of Darkness when he encountered three people. One of them was blocking the other two from leaving. I'll say it again. Hand over your spatial rings and then scram. Long Chen's eyes began to glow. That person was Jiang Yifen. Previously, back when Yun Luo had chased him down and heavily injured him, it was this bastard who had taken advantage and almost taken his life. If it hadn't been for that mysterious woman, he would have died to him. Facing Jiang Yifen were two ordinary core disciples. Long Chen didn't recognize their robes, and so they were probably from some unremarkable small sect. These two were completely suppressed by Jiang Yifen's aura. We're all members of the Righteous Path. You're a powerful chosen, but you're making it hard on us two ordinary disciples. Are you not afraid of ruining your reputation? Now that you say that, you're absolutely correct. Then for my reputation, I can only sacrifice the two of you. Jiang Yifen suddenly icily shouted and his powerful aura exploded out. A palm smashed towards the two of them. These two were ordinary core disciples. In front of Jiang Yifen, they were unable to do anything. Just that single palm made them unable to move. They could only watch in horror as Jiang Yifen's palm approached. Bastard, you definitely won't have a good death. In front of that absolute power disparity, the two of them were filled with despair. One of them used his full strength just to be able to open his mouth and curse Jiang Yifen. Jiang Yifen sneered, and his palm didn't hesitate. He didn't have any misjivings about killing disciples from smaller sects with no power. He had already killed tens of similar disciples. Furthermore, it seemed even ordinary core disciples had been quite lucky here. Their spatial rings had contained quite a few nice surprises for him. So this was already a habit of his. I'll grant your wish. An extremely unremarkable brick came flying over from an odd angle, smashing into Jiang Yifen's face. Jiang Yifen had never imagined someone would sneak attack him at this time. Furthermore, the brick had come silently from his blind spot. There was no chance for him to block it. Half his face caved in and he vomited a mouthful of blood, his teeth flying through the air. Those two disciples, who had thought they were about to die, suddenly saw a figure flash over like a bolt of lightning, catch the brick, and then twist in midair to once more slam it into Jiang Yifen's face. Jiang Yifen had already been spinning through the air from the first blow. Now his spin was completely reversed, and he once more vomited a mouthful of blood. However, this time, because of his high-speed revolving, it was like red fireworks were shooting out of his mouth. It was a bizarre kind of beauty. Long Chen, although he was spinning through the air rapidly, he was still a chosen. He might be the absolute weakest level of chosen, but he was still far stronger than regular favored, and he managed to recognize Long Chen even through the spinning. Do you think you can say my name? Long Chen's brick repeatedly struck Jiang Yifen. The first thing Long Chen did was break his elbows and knees so that he couldn't run. It went without saying that this brick was quite effective. Long Chen could use it just as nimbly as his own fists, and when it was used in close-range combat, it was practically unblockable. Crack. The sounds of Jiang Yifen's bones breaking rang out. Even back when Long Chen had been in the blood condensation realm, he had still been able to completely suppress Jiang Yifen. Now that he was at the tendon transformation, killing Jiang Yifen didn't require any effort. However, killing him like this would be letting him off far too lightly. First Long Chen broke all his limbs, and then he pondered how he should handle this scum. As Long Chen attacked Jiang Yifen no, it should be as Long Chen played with Jiang Yifen. Those two disciples who had escaped death didn't even dare to move. From the very first attack, 
Zhang Yifan's body had still been floating in the air. The only change was whether he spun clockwise or counterclockwise. Long Chen continuously swung out his brick, almost like he was hitting a spinning top. They were completely stunned. Hey, what are you two still doing here? The scene will get a bit bloody in a bit, and it wouldn't be good for you to see it. Only when Long Chen finally said something did they react. The two of them took a deep breath and bowed deeply to Long Chen. We'll remember this favor of saving our lives. What favor? Hurry up and leave, prompted Long Chen. The two of them glanced at each other, once more bowing to Long Chen. They turned and rushed away. They were filled with appreciation, and Long Chen's name was deeply carved in their hearts. As for Jiang Yifen, he was beaten into a pulp and was constantly letting our miserable shrieks. His heart was filled with terror. As soon as Long Chen had appeared, he had broken his limbs. He had no idea what method Long Chen was using, but he had severed all the meridians in his limbs. The only thing he could feel was pain. What are you fucking screaming about? Fuck your granny. Don't you like being arrogant? Taking advantage of when I was injured. You wanted to take my life? This time I'll let you know who is your grandpa Long Chen. Thinking of how he had almost died because of this idiot. His fury completely exploded. If he died to an expert, then fine. But if he died to an idiot like this, then that would really be too vexing. Long Chen alternated which side of Jiang Yifen he hit, making him continuously spin through the air. In fact, Jiang Yifen almost seemed like a professional dancer, continuously dancing gracefully through the air. However, if there wasn't so much blood flying through the air and there weren't so many ghost-like whales, it would look more pleasant. Although Long Chen had an urge to kill him instantly just like this, he held himself back. He wouldn't let him off so easily. Long Chen seemed to be striking him extremely hard, but each one of his blows was controlled extremely precisely. He crazily struck Jiang Yifen's pain nerves while not aiming for any vitals. Jiang Yifen continued to spin through the air while letting out his howls. Finally, after two hours, the world returned to calm. It wasn't that Long Chen had gotten tired, nor was it that Jiang Yifen had gotten tired of screaming. Instead, it was because he had fainted. Jiang Yifen no longer looked human. Who knew how many of his bones were broken now? He had been turned into a bloody pulp. Being proficient in the pill path, Long Chen's comprehension of the human body had reached complete perfection. He knew this bastard had fainted because he had gone past his pain threshold. This was an instinctive life-preserving reaction of his body so that he wouldn't die from pain. This idiot, he really is soft. With your morality, you wouldn't even be able to endure three bone-eroding needles. Long Chen snorted icily. Jiang Yifen really was trash. His pain tolerance was lower than even ordinary disciples. He took out a bucket from his spatial ring and crushed a medicinal pill, dissolving it in the water. The water immediately turned black as ink. He poured it over Jiang Yifen. A-H-H-H. An incredibly mournful music once more began to fill the air. A music that caused a person's hair to stand on end. A brick smashed across his face. Long Chen's spiritual key sealed Jiang Yifen's throat. That sound was too ugly to listen to. Jiang Yifen was temporarily turned into a mute. He was in so much pain that even his eyeballs were about to pop out of his head. His mouth opened, but no sound came out. Don't worry, I won't kill you like this. Those were all healing medicines. It'll just hurt a bit is all. Long Chen laughed icily. He picked up Jiang Yifen and rushed forward, looking to find a suitable place to sort him out. Suddenly, Long Chen saw a cave in the distance. More accurately, it should be called a well. It was a stone well that was around 3 meters wide and 300 meters deep. Long Chen thought about it for a moment. He took all the spatial rings Jiang Yifen had. A thought popped into his head to take his clothes as well. However the clothes he had been wearing had been torn to pieces already. So he didn't bother with those rags. He left him essentially clad in some torn threads and a pair of boots. Feeding him another healing pill. He threw him into the well. Little fellow. Wait patiently for me at the bottom of the well. If you want to live, then don't try shouting. Otherwise, your key will explode within your meridians and you'll die. After saying that, Long Chen found a large boulder. Picking it up, he found it was a suitable weight. He used it to seal the well. He then examined the well. He confirmed there were a couple cracks that would make it so Jiang Yifen wouldn't suffocate. Only then was he ready to leave him here. In the future, he could come slowly to put him in order if he had the time. If he didn't have time, then Jiang Yifen could just die in there. Long Chen had just been about to leave when he suddenly sensed someone was staring at him. He turned back and was stunned. Did such coincidences really exist in this world? Chapter 355 Seeing Senior Apprentice Brother Key Again Translator Born to be Brat 
What are you hiding? If you're smart, you'll hand it over right now, and I'll spare your life. That man looked to be in his twenties. He was tall and had excellently proportioned facial features, but the unconcealable haughtiness that came from him broke that image. His powerful cultivation base had reached the late tendon transformation realm. However, the more amazing thing about him was that by just standing there, he gave off a heavy pressure. It was a pressure that came from the soul. Seeing that man, Long Chen smiled extremely sincerely. It was always nice to run into old acquaintances. Crap brother Ki, long time no see. That person was precisely the man who had appeared back in Phoenix Cry when he and Men Ki had parted ways. Lu Fanger had called him senior apprentice brother Ki. At that time, Long Chen had still been at Ki condensation. While the senior apprentice brother Ki had been an expert capable of controlling a second rank magical beast. Once Men Ki had left, he had attacked Long Chen, wanting to destroy his mind and turn him into an imbecile. It was only because Men Ki had fortunately told Lu Fanger to stay behind, just in case of anything unexpected happening, that Long Chen had managed to avoid tragedy. Back then, Long Chen had felt he might explode from fury. He had had no enmity with senior apprentice brother Ki at all. But after just meeting, he had wanted to turn him into an imbecile. At that time, Long Chen had sworn that if he one day ran into senior apprentice brother Ki again, he would definitely turn him into crap brother Ki. And so when he now ran into him here, Long Chen almost couldn't believe his eyes. This was practically a heavenly gift. You know me. Seeing Long Chen looking at him with delight and surprise, senior apprentice brother Ki was a bit flabbergasted. He, of course I know you. My impression of you is extremely, extremely deep, laughed Long Chen. Then how come I have no memory of you? Don't try to randomly make up friendships, or it'll make your death even uglier, sneered senior apprentice brother Ki. That was because no matter how senior apprentice brother Ki looked at Long Chen, he felt he was extremely unfamiliar. Should I give you a reminder? Phoenix Cry Empire, Sunset Mountain, Sister Men Ki? Now do you remember? Long Chen excitedly rubbed his hands. So it was you. Senior apprentice brother Ki was a bit startled. He finally remembered that youth who had just been an ant in his eyes. Who would have thought that in just over a year, that youth would have reached this level. He had also reached the tendon transformation realm, and had even entered the Jiuli secret realm. You recognize me now? He, looks like we really do have destiny together, said Long Chen excitedly. Destiny? HMPH. Yes, we really do have destiny. Last time I wanted to slaughter you, you little bastard. But Lu Fanger ruined things. This time let's see where you run, said senior apprentice brother Ki icily. Long Chen became a bit horrified, asking with complete confusion, why would you want to kill me, brat? I don't care if you're acting or if you're really this stupid. Today, the only path left for you is death. No one can save you, and if you're smart, you'll tell me the truth. Are you really Men Ki's fiancé? I can give you quick death if you tell me. If you don't, you won't even be able to beg for life, and when you beg for death, It'll become a luxury you can't have. Long Chen nodded. So it really was like this. It seemed back when Men Ki had come to find him to break off the marriage. Others must have known. It was very likely the senior apprentice brother Ki had come especially to dispatch him. However, he had been stopped by Lu Fang'er. Long Chen wondered whether senior apprentice brother Ki had gone to kill him voluntarily or because of someone else's orders. Correct. I am Men Ki's fiancé. In the future, I will be her man. So what? Long Chen said confidently and righteously. Haha, you want marry junior apprentice sister Men Ki? What a joke. An idiot like you is really a toad trying to eat swan meat. Senior apprentice brother Ki sneered with ridicule. He continued. In our wind spirit pavilion, junior apprentice sister Men Ki is practically a fairy. Countless geniuses admire her, and who knows how many chosen level experts would prostrate themselves before her. You, someone at the first vestige of tendon transformation. Want to marry a person who is a fairy in our eyes? You're really trying to make me laugh to death. But since you told the truth, and also since you made me laugh so much, I'll be generous and give you one chance. Hand over your spatial ring and then kill yourself. You better treasure this opportunity pow. Long Chen had been planning on learning a couple more things from senior apprentice brother Ki's mouth before attacking. That was because he was afraid that once he started attacking, he wouldn't be able to control his emotions and he didn't have the ability to make a dead man talk. However, he had underestimated senior apprentice brother Ki's ability to provoke him, and overestimated his ability to restrain himself. Despite doing his best to hold back, 
his hand didn't listen to him and slapped across senior apprentice brother Key's haughty face. This slap of his was incredibly ruthless. If senior apprentice brother Key's cultivation base had not reached the late tendon transformation realm, Long Chen's slap could have possibly taken off his head. Although he had only swung out of reflex and hadn't added any extra strength, it still broke senior apprentice brother Key's jaw, and all his teeth shot out. Before senior apprentice brother Key even fell to the ground, Long Chen shot forward and grabbed his head. He then ruthlessly slammed his knee into his nose. Crack. The hair-raising sound of bones breaking rang out accompanied by senior apprentice brother Key's scream. He flew high into the air from the force of the blow, blood filling the sky. He flew a beautiful arc through the air before tumbling to the ground. Long Chen didn't dare look at his own hands. Only now did he realize he had involuntarily struck him. Was it that his patience was growing thinner, or that the skills of the idiots around him had grown stronger? He had actually struck without even realizing it. You damn bastard. Senior apprentice brother Key stood up, his face covered in blood. His own face felt foreign to him. He could clearly feel there was something flowing out from his nose and eyes, but he couldn't feel anything from his skin. Being caught off guard, he, a grand beast tamer, had been injured by such a lowly fellow's sneak attack. Furthermore, this injury was the most humiliating kind, causing his fury to burn. Contract summoning. Senior apprentice brother Key formed a hand seal in front of him. Space twisted and three huge magical beasts appeared in front of him. Long Chen was slightly surprised. Two of his magical beasts were curved-eyed white tigers, and the third was a rock-scale python. The curved-eyed white tigers were at the peak of the third rank. They were over 30 meters long and their auras were extremely powerful. As for the rock-scale python, it was surprisingly a fourth-rank magical beast and was over 300 meters long. Although it was only at the early fourth rank, that powerful pressure coming from it was comparable to a chosen. No wonder it's said that beast tamers are terrifying existences. Although he's only at the tendon transformation realm, he's able to control a fourth-rank magical beast. Fourth-rank magical beasts were equivalent to the bone-forging realm for cultivators. Furthermore, magical beasts had powerful bodies that possessed extraordinary strength and abnormal defense. Ordinary human cultivators were not equal matches for magical beasts of the same rank. Senior apprentice brother Key was just an above-average beast tamer, and yet, he was still surprisingly able to control a fourth-rank magical beast. Bastard, you dare attack me, a grand beast tamer? Don't even think about getting to die today. I'll tear out your soul and burn it for a hundred years first. Senior apprentice brother Key's face had caved in, especially his nose, and it made him appear exceptionally sinister. He wanted to clench his teeth as he said this, but he was unable to. His jaw was broken, and his words were extremely unclear. Hearing him speak, Long Chen's head buzzed, and he almost lost control and involuntarily struck him again. Senior apprentice brother Key was really just too strong. With just a couple words, he was almost able to provoke Long Chen into impetuously attacking him without hesitation. Go. Senior apprentice brother Key swallowed a healing pill. His unclear voice ordered his magical beasts to attack Long Chen. The three magical beasts immediately roared and charged at him. Little Snow. Kill them all. Long Chen didn't say much. He directly summoned out Little Snow. That was because he didn't dare personally attack, as he was afraid of losing control. The instant Little Snow appeared, he let out a heaven-shaking roar. His white hair stood on end, and a powerful pressure shot out. Those third-rank magical beasts instantly turned sluggish from Little Snow's pressure. Fights between magical beasts were extremely direct, and different from fights between cultivators. Other than some poisonous magical beasts, it was mostly whoever possessed a more powerful pressure that would be able to suppress their opponents. That kind of pressure was strictly based on rank. If their rank was lower than their opponent, an uncontrollable terror would well up within them. So as soon as Little Snow released his aura, those third-rank magical beasts were suppressed. Even the fourth-rank python was suppressed. Suddenly, space buzzed as Little Snow spat out a huge wind blade. It was like a divine blade cutting apart the sky slashing towards the three magical beasts. What was inconceivable to Long Chen was that the two curved-eyed white tigers were clearly filled with terror and despair, but they didn't dodge. Long Chen was unaware of just how strict the ranking suppression was in the magical beast world. A fourth-rank magical beast possessed an absolute suppression towards third-rank magical beasts. For example, back when Long Chen had brought the barbaric wind beast running around, he had run into quite a few magical beasts that were at the peak of the fourth rank. But as soon as they had seen the barbaric wind beast, 
they had almost pissed themselves and fled for their lives. These two curved eyes white tigers didn't even have the ability to dodge. They were directly cut in two, their blood filling the sky. As for the python, it coiled around itself and used its powerful defensive ability to block Little Snow's attack. And yet, Little Snow's attack was not so easy to block. It was sent flying by the wind blade, and a huge portion of its scales fell to the ground, its blood spraying everywhere. A mutated magical beast. Senior apprentice brother Key ignored his own injuries to look at Little Snow in shock. As a beast tamer, he could easily recognize Little Snow's status, and it was because he recognized his status that he was so shocked. Other than in legends of mutated magical beasts, he had never heard of a magical beast that was capable of breaking through the restrictions of its bloodline. A mutated magical beast had not appeared in tens of thousands of years, but now, one had appeared in front of him. Greed appeared in his eyes. If he could obtain a mutated magical beast, then with his special techniques to raise it, it would definitely become a terrifying existence in the future. You can die now, you brat. This scarlet flame snow wolf is mine. Senior apprentice brother Ki roared. A huge spiritual arrow appeared between his hands and shot out at Long Chen. Chapter 356 Violet Lightning Spear Translator Born to be this scarlet flame snow wolf is mine. Senior apprentice brother Ki shot out a huge spiritual arrow at Long Chen. This was something made of spiritual strength, and it appeared like water in the air. This was a soul art that took incorporeal spiritual strength and turned it into a tangible attack. The reason beast tamers were powerful wasn't just because of their powerful houseboats. Their spiritual attacks were also terrifying. This spiritual arrow was three meters long, appearing like a translucent spear that stabbed at Long Chen. Long Chen punched out. His punch contained his powerful will, and it smashed apart the spiritual arrow. However, although the spiritual arrow's outer form had been destroyed, its spiritual attacking power had not weakened at all. A formless energy surged into Long Chen's forehead. A spiritual attack was specialized in attacking the soul, and outer forces were unable to affect it. It was impossible to use physical strength to block it. That spiritual strength surged into Long Chen, and he immediately felt a burst of intense pain as if tens of thousands of needles were stabbing into him. He hastily circulated his own spiritual strength to defend. Long Chen had no techniques when it came to how to properly use his powerful soul. He could only use the simplest and crudest defensive method to block the spiritual attack. He involuntarily took a couple steps back, his face slightly pale. Although he had blocked it, he still felt an immense pain. Noveloon.com This was the first time Long Chen encountered true spiritual strength attacks. They were extremely terrifying. It was no wonder why senior apprentice brother Ki, while only being ranked a core disciple in his sect, was still so arrogant. Little Snow was connected to Long Chen's mind and soul, so he immediately roared and attacked senior apprentice brother Ki when he saw Long Chen was injured. Come be my houseboat. In the face of Little Snow's charge, senior apprentice brother Ki wasn't the slightest bit afraid. In fact, a fanatical expression appeared on his face and he quickly formed hand seals. First let me erase your spiritual imprint. Following his hand seals, a bizarre mark appeared in front of him. It shot towards Little Snow and directly landed on his head. However, senior apprentice brother Key was shocked to find that there was no reaction at all from Little Snow, and a huge claw smashed down on him. What? There's no spiritual imprint. He had never imagined that Little Snow was a contractless magical beast. His technique was used to erase Long Chen's spiritual imprint. Beast tamers had an understanding of magical beasts that others simply did not possess. If the spiritual imprint of a contracted magical beast was erased, that would be a huge impact on the magical beast's soul, and they would instantly faint. Removing the spiritual imprint in this manner would cause a great deal of harm to a magical beast's soul. A spiritual imprint on a magical beast was like a lock on a door. Only the owner possessed the key. If they wanted to, they could remove their own spiritual imprint and grant a magical beast their freedom. However, the more domineering method to remove that imprint was to use a powerful soul art and barbarically erase it. It was like taking a hatchet and forcibly cutting off the lock of a door. Naturally, that would badly damage the door as well. Senior apprentice brother Ki had already realized that Long Chen was only a dabbler and not a true beast tamer. He fundamentally didn't understand ways to use spiritual strength. It was unknown just what trick he had used in order to obtain this mutated snow wolf. That was why the first thing he tried was to remove Little Snow's spiritual imprint and make him lose consciousness. Then when he awoke, he would place his own spiritual imprint and make Little Snow his houseboat. However, Little Snow didn't have a spiritual imprint. 
And yet, he had clearly seen Little Snow be summoned out of Long Chen's spiritual space. Before senior apprentice brother Ki even realized what was going on, Little Snow's claw ruthlessly smashed into him. Bang! A shield suddenly appeared in front of senior apprentice brother Ki's body. That wasn't a physical shield he was holding with his hand, but a shield formed from spiritual strength. It floated in front of his body and blocked Little Snow's attack. Senior apprentice brother Ki retreated quickly after blocking his attack. He was completely bewildered. Fine. Since you don't have a spiritual imprint, then I'll help you gain one. He once more formed hand seals. This time, his spiritual strength was completely activated, and a strange mark appeared behind him. Long Chen recognized that as a character from ancient times. Slave. He wanted to enslave Little Snow. Killing intent surged out of Long Chen. Senior apprentice brother Ki seemed fanatical as he poured in more spiritual strength. Millions of threads began to shoot out of the slave character, attempting to reach Little Snow. Little Snow instinctively had a bad feeling, and shot backwards. He felt an extremely uneasy sensation when he looked at that character. He, it's useless. You've been locked onto by my soul so you can't run. Just obediently become my husband. Senior apprentice brother Ki smiled sinisterly. Currently, all he was focused on was Little Snow. He didn't even glance at Long Chen. From his previous attack, he could already tell Long Chen's strength. Although Long Chen had a vast spiritual strength, he had no idea how to use it. He could easily kill him whenever. However, he felt that killing Long Chen just like this wouldn't be able to resolve the hatred he had for him. So he was thinking of subduing Little Snow and then using him to kill Long Chen. To die to his own husband. That was an interesting punishment. And so he chose to ignore Long Chen for now and focus on Little Snow. Now that he was on guard, even if Long Chen wanted to sneak attack him, it would be useless. That was why he was brazen enough to ignore him. Little Snow was panicked. No matter how he dodged, that huge spiritual imprint continued to attempt to trap him. He even tried shooting out a wind blade, but it passed straight through that spiritual imprint as if it were smoke. It was sliced in half, but it quickly reformed. You can't run. Senior apprentice brother Ki was watching Little Snow be entrapped by his spiritual imprint with zeal. As a beast tamer, he was an expert at capturing magical beasts. As long as Little Snow was trapped by that spiritual imprint, he would never be able to escape. Buzz. Just as his spiritual imprint was about to reach Little Snow, a violet bolt of lightning slammed into it. A-H-H-H. -H -H. Senior apprentice brother Ki immediately screamed mournfully, sounding like a malicious spirit. He clenched his head and crazily rolled on the ground. Long Chen apathetically put down his hand. Just now he had used his thunder force to destroy senior apprentice brother Ki's spiritual imprint. He had long since heard of the power of beast tamers. If he didn't have his own ways to protect himself, he would have instead instantly killed senior apprentice brother Ki so that there would have been no way for him to counterattack with his special skills. However, Long Chen had always been curious about the ways beast tamers attacked. That was why he had just been probing senior apprentice brother Ki's abilities. But that idiot had taken that to mean he was completely helpless and just waiting for death. Long Chen's thunder force was something that came from lightning tribulation. It had an immense suppressive effect against spiritual strength. As for senior apprentice brother Ki's slave imprint, it was the same as other ordinary spiritual attacks. And it was connected to his soul. That was the only way to use a steady flow of spiritual strength to control the magical beast. That was why Long Chen's attack caused such a heavy backlash to his soul. The amount of pain he was enduring now was a hundred times what Long Chen had endured previously. He was feeling so much more pain because he had attacked Long Chen from outside his soul. While Long Chen's attack had destroyed his slave imprint, which immensely impacted his soul from the inside. The pain of the soul was tens of thousands of times greater than physical pain. Senior apprentice brother Ki was constantly rolling on the floor in suffering. Ao Wu. Little Snow let out an angry roar. Don't bite him. If you kill him in one attack, that'll be letting him off far too lightly. For such a person, you have to play with them with a proper sequence, a good rhythm, and creativity. Also you can play them to death. Otherwise, how will you make it up to his parents who raised him while cleaning up his crap and piss? Long Chen shook his head, disagreeing with Little Snow's suggestion. Bastard. What was that? Holding his head, senior apprentice brother Ki struggled up doing his best to endure the intense pain coming from his soul. Guess, Long Chen spread out his hands, looking as if it were some secret that couldn't be told to anyone. Just that appearance of his was worthy of needing a spanking. Both of you can die. Senior apprentice brother Ki roared furiously, 
He no longer cared about subduing Little Snow as a houseboat. The space between his eyebrows split apart and blood flowed out. Blood Soul Spear. A semi-translucent blood-colored spear slowly grew out of his forehead. The instant it appeared, it locked Long Chen and Little Snow in place. Long Chen was shocked. Beast Tamers truly were powerful. He had never thought that Crap Brother Ki had such a powerful move. Even before it was fully formed, this attack of his had already locked down Long Chen's soul. That powerful spiritual pressure was many times stronger than the previous spiritual arrow. Terror appeared in Little Snow's eyes. Magical beasts had an innate fear of spiritual attacks. That was because magical beasts possessed extremely weak spiritual strength. Although Little Snow had mutated, the kind of suppression that came from the depths of his soul still made him instinctively terrified. Beast tamers were able to control magical beasts not only because of their enormous spiritual strength, but also because of their countless techniques which were specialized against magical beasts. The entire reason that senior apprentice brother Ki had come to the Forest of Darkness was all because he wanted to see if he could subdue a powerful fourth-rank magical beast or perhaps obtain a young magical beast. Senior apprentice brother Ki's strength was limited. Those three magical beasts he had controlled were his limit. With his current level of spiritual strength, there was no way for him to control more. If one of those magical beasts launched a counterattack while his spiritual strength was stretched to its limit, he would be doomed. That was why he had been planning on finding two new powerful fourth-rank magical beasts within the Forest of Darkness to replace his current third-rank magical beasts. That way his strength would greatly increase. And if he could find an extra fourth-rank magical beast, he also wouldn't mind replacing his rock-scale python, as its aptitude was not high. Although it was also a fourth-rank magical beast, in front of Little Snow, it was unable to endure a single blow. Right now, it was still lying powerlessly in the distance. Die. Terrifying spiritual strength reached a pinnacle, and his blood-colored spiritual spear shot out at Long Chen and Little Snow. Don't be afraid Little Snow. I'm here. Long Chen patted Little Snow gently, extending his hand. A popping, rumbling sound appeared from the void, and a violet lightning spear appeared in his hand. The instant that lightning spear appeared, heaven and earth changed color. The void began to quiver, and a berserk aura filled the surroundings. Chapter 357 Who Let You Not Wear a Hat Translator Born to be seeing that spiritual spear piercing towards him, Long Chen's lightning spear streaked across the void and smashed into it. Bang! In front of Long Chen's lightning spear, senior apprentice brother Ki's spiritual spear was like an icicle, and was mercilessly pulverized. Senior apprentice brother Ki's expression immediately turned ashen. He vomited a mouthful of blood and became listless. Impossible. Looking at that spear made of violet lightning, he was completely horrified. Beast Tamers had two extremely powerful aspects. One was their ability to summon out powerful magical beasts to fight for them, while the other was their spiritual attacks that most people were unable to block. Beast Tamers were classified as a kind of soul cultivator. They had powerful spiritual attacks that few could block. In fact, even those on the chosen level would have to run far away from Beast Tamers if they didn't have any spiritual defense treasures. If they were surrounded by powerful magical beasts and also had to deal with powerful spiritual attacks, they would definitely suffer. That was why beast tamers had grand statuses and could not be provoked. However, senior apprentice brother Ki's powerful spiritual strength was completely destroyed by Long Chen's lightning spear. Senior apprentice brother Ki's attack had contained all his spiritual strength. Once it was destroyed by Long Chen's spear, it caused a powerful shock to his soul. What kind of energy is that? Senior apprentice brother Ki's expression was extremely ugly as he looked at Long Chen's lightning spear. Guess, Long Chen naturally wouldn't tell him. At the same time, he was greatly relieved inside. With his thunder force, he wouldn't need to fear spiritual attacks in the future. He would just need to be careful of sneak attacks. Suddenly, the distant rock scale python charged over, biting at Long Chen. A bloody stench came from his huge mouth. At the same time, Senior Apprentice Brother Ki took that chance to flee. Senior Apprentice Brother Ki wasn't a fool. Although he didn't know the origin of the lightning in Long Chen's hand, he could tell that it had an immense restrictive effect on his spiritual strength. Of his three magical beasts, two were dead and one was half dead. With his spiritual strength suppressed, there was no chance of him winning. He had ordered this half-dead python to attack Long Chen so he could escape. He had sacrificed this fourth-rank magical beast without hesitation. Unfortunately, his escape didn't go as planned. Long Chen had long since been prepared to stop him from running. 
As soon as the python attacked him, he saw through senior apprentice brother Key's intentions. His lightning spear stabbed forward, literally streaking through the air like lightning. It collided with the python's mouth, and the python's head instantly exploded. After killing the python, Long Chen was just about to use the netherworld ghost steps to catch up to senior apprentice brother Key, but suddenly, Little Snow opened his mouth in preparation to shoot out a wind blade. Long Chen jumped in fright and hastily pushed Little Snow to the side. With his head tilted slightly to the side, his wind blade shot out, instantly flying by senior apprentice brother Key to land on the ground in front of him. Boom. A terrifying wave of earth completely buried senior apprentice brother Key. Aowu. Little Snow was clearly dissatisfied. Long Chen didn't know whether to laugh or cry. I know you didn't want to kill him, and I know you held back, but you don't know that beast tamers have different physical bodies than other cultivators. With your attack, at that distance, just the slightest bit of error would have killed him. Then there'd be nothing to play with. A beast tamer had powerful spiritual strength and was able to control powerful magical beast houseboats. However, their fatal weak point was that their physical bodies were too fragile. They couldn't endure a powerful attack. That was why each beast tamer would possess at least one defensively powerful magical beast as a guard for themselves. Otherwise, if they were sneak attacked by someone, they would definitely die. Although Little Snow had adjusted his attack, he had only adjusted it to the level that a normal tendon transformation expert wouldn't die from it. However, if senior apprentice brother Key had been struck by it, then he would have immediately been sent off to his ancestors. Long Chen quickly rushed forward and pulled senior apprentice brother Key out of the ground. Seeing how he appeared to be on his last breaths, Little Snow rubbed the ground with embarrassment. He, don't worry about it. In truth, I don't really care that much about his life or death. I just want to ask him a few questions first. Long Chen fed senior apprentice brother Key a healing pill, and then like he was a dead dog, he pulled him towards that well. With a crisp sounding slap in the face, the intense pain awoke senior apprentice brother Key. He saw in front of him a handsome face that had a smile that looked as if he had just been blessed by the heavens. It was a warm smile, one that could lift up the coldest hearts. And yet senior apprentice brother Key couldn't feel the slightest warmth from that smile. On the contrary, he felt goosebumps, as if some demon was staring at him, just waiting to devour his life. What? What are you planning on doing? Senior apprentice brother Key's voice trembled with terror. Don't worry. Although you wanted to kill me just now, I won't kill you at this time. There are some things I want to ask you. Smiled Long Chen. Senior apprentice brother Key edged backwards, trying to maintain a distance from that fiendish face. His hand pressed into the ground, but then he suddenly realized something was wrong. He saw his right hand was completely bare, and his expression changed. You stole my spatial ring. Pow. A slap in the face was his response. The breaks in his bones, which had only just begun to heal from the medicinal pill, once more broke, and senior apprentice brother Key screamed. Stole? This ring was always mine. Long Chen furiously slapped him in the face continuously. However, he tightly controlled his strength since he was afraid of killing him. Who let you be so high and aloof? Who let you indiscriminately kill the innocent? Who let you have poisonous intentions in your heart? Who let you? Who let you? Who let you? In the end, Long Chen didn't even know the reasons he was making up. With a final slap, he said, Who let you not wear a hat? His final attack made senior apprentice brother Key faint. However, he didn't faint from the pain, but from anger. Long Chen once more fed him a healing pill and then woke him up with a slap. I'm going to start asking questions, and you answer me. If you refuse to answer or answer beside the point, you'll get a slap in the face as a reward. Senior apprentice brother Key was both shocked and infuriated. You're provoking my wind spirit pavilion. You'll regret it. You. Pow. His reply was a slap in the face. Just wait to die. My wind spirit pavilion will never let you off. Even your monastery can't protect you. Raged senior apprentice brother Key. Obviously he had recognized Long Chen's robes. Pow. 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 Long Chen didn't say anything. As long as he talked back, Long Chen would give him a slap in the face. After over 10 slaps, senior apprentice brother Key once more fainted. Aowu, Little Snow was getting impatient to the side. Don't be impatient. We'll just wait and mess around a bit. Back in Phoenix Cry, this bastard actually attacked me without even saying anything first. The grudge from back then had to wait until now. Now that I can finally take revenge, just let me play for a bit longer. Let me see just how hard his bones are, laughed Long Chen. 
Little Snow wanted to directly kill senior apprentice brother Qi to get it over with, but Long Chen really would hate to part with him so soon. Beating him wasn't his goal. His goal was to beat him until he was convinced. With another slap, senior apprentice brother Qi woke up again. This time he was much more obedient. He had finally realized that he had run into a ruthless person. His background was unable to suppress Long Chen. Furthermore, he felt a profound sensation of terror. He was truly afraid Long Chen would kill him and then erase any traces of his actions. Long Chen smiled with ridicule. Even with that level of intelligence, senior apprentice brother Qi was still able to live up to now. His luck really had to be heaven defying. Don't worry, I promise I won't kill you, and I never break my promises. Let me repeat myself. When I ask a question, answer. Otherwise, we'll continue this face slapping game. In any case, this is just leisure time. I'll just treat it as practice, said Long Chen indifferently. Senior apprentice brother Qi shivered uncontrollably when he heard that. He didn't resist in the slightest anymore. Whatever Long Chen asked, he would obediently reply. From senior apprentice brother Qi, Long Chen learned that the Wind Spirit Pavilion was actually extremely powerful, not at all inferior to the Zhuanshan Supermonastery. It was no wonder he dared be so arrogant. The Wind Spirit Pavilion's disciples were all soul cultivators, and they were basically all beast tamers. Although they had few disciples, each disciple was extremely powerful. The Wind Spirit Pavilion had the same system as the monasteries. There was a head pavilion, as well as branch pavilions. The branch pavilion that Ian Menki were in had over 470 disciples that had entered the Jiuli Secret Realm. Hearing that Menki had also entered the Jiuli Secret Realm, a fire burned within Long Chen. Although his interaction with Men Qi had been short, as time had passed, his longing for her had only intensified. Previously, he had thought he had just been attracted by Men Qi's immortal, fairy-like temperament and beauty, that it was a kind of attraction based on looks. However, later he realized that it was actually a profound love that came from inside his heart. Although Men Qi had gone to withdraw from the marriage back then, Long Chen didn't hate her in the slightest. In fact, he found her to be extremely kind-hearted. At that time, he had been an ant-like person, while she had been a heavenly genius. And yet, she had felt so many misjivings about breaking off their engagement all because she was worried about his honor and reputation. She had used the most tactful and gentlest way to express her wishes. Even Long Chen didn't know just when he had begun to feel such a love for her. However, now he learned an extremely displeasing bit of information. That was that the Wind Spirit Pavilion had a certain disciple with an extremely high status. Feng Xiao Zi. Within the Wind Spirit Pavilion, his position was equivalent to the Zhuanshan Monastery's top disciple, Han Shian Iu. Feng Xiao Zi and Men Qi were both peak geniuses of their generation, and had been termed the Wind Spirit Pavilion's golden couple. That made Long Chen extremely uncomfortable, especially when he learned that Feng Xiao Zi was the Wind Spirit Pavilion's pavilion master's son. His background was extremely powerful, and it gave Long Chen a sensation of crisis. Then he heard from senior apprentice brother Qi that the pavilion master looked very favorably upon Men Qi, and intended to play matchmaker for the two of them. Men Qi had constantly been declining and trying to get out of it. However, under the pavilion master's pressure, it seemed there was no way for her to refuse. Fuck, you want to gang up on my fianke? Do you think you can place your intentions on my woman? Long Chen learned that Men Qi had also entered the forest of darkness in search of opportunities. However, the forest of darkness was huge, and he had no idea where she was. After asking some more, he realized senior apprentice brother Qi knew nothing more that interested him. A brick beat him unconscious and also broke all four of his limbs. This was the same treatment he had given Zhang Yifen. Long Chen tossed a buck naked senior apprentice brother Qi down the well. As for what those two naked men would do down in that well, Long Chen didn't care. He wasn't in the mood to deal with the two of them. In any case, he had already fed them medicines, and they didn't dare yell. They should not even think about being able to leave for now. Once more sealing the well, Long Chen patted his hands and began entering deeper into the forest of darkness. Chapter 358 Once more running into Lu Fang Er translator, born to be within the forest of darkness, the countless ancient trees soared high into the sky, completely blocking the sun. Huge vines were like dragons as they coiled all around. As Long Chen progressed deeper, the light within the forest became ever more gloomy. A person would naturally feel uncomfortable with their vision sealed from the darkness. That kind of sensation provoked a natural fear. As soon as he entered the forest, 
he felt as if he had entered the maw of a giant monster. And known dangers could pop up and devour his life at any moment. Crunch. An iron spear in Long Chen's hand shot out. A spider that was around the size of a plate had stealthily appeared behind him and had just been about to attack him when Long Chen's spear stabbed through it. Suddenly, that black spider's mouth opened and a white substance shot out at Long Chen. That white substance was a large net that quickly spread out. Long Chen jumped in fright. Despite the fact that he had stabbed the spider through its vitals, it was still able to release such an attack. He hastily dodged to the side. That net had reached a size of 5 feet, but it just missed Long Chen. However, when the net flew by Long Chen, the air was filled with a disgusting stink. A stink that would make anyone nauseous. Even the spider web is poisonous. Long Chen was slightly surprised. The creatures of the forest of darkness were truly too terrifying. All kinds of strange things continued to pop up. So many that it was impossible to defend against them all. Just as he dodged the net, before he could even examine the spider, the spider suddenly exploded, and a dark liquid splashed out everywhere. Sheet. Long Chen instinctively summoned out the blue flame of the flame salamander to cover his body. That black liquid was instantly turned to vapor from the flame. But at the same time, an incomparably disgusting stench filled the air. Long Chen immediately held his breath and rushed away. Several miles away. He wasn't able to endure it any longer and began to vomit under a large tree. It was the five flower stink spider of Long Chen continuously threw up, his stomach feeling like a churning sea. The five flower stink spider's abdomen had two poison glands. One was used for releasing a poisonous liquid to capture prey, but the other was used to secrete an incredibly disgusting stench. It was used to block opponents it had no chance of defeating. If a powerful magical beast wanted to eat it, it would release that stench. No magical beast would want to eat something so disgusting. Long Chen was only able to recognize it because of this unenderable stench. Previously, he hadn't paid much attention to the five colored flower marks on its back. Sheet. I was too careless. Sheet. So unlucky of Long Chen continued to puke. The five flower stink spider was a special magical beast. And it was said to have been a rare existence even in ancient times. It didn't have a specific rank. It could even be said to be outside the classification of magical beasts. However, its stench was too powerful, and there was no antidote. Although it wouldn't stink a person to death, it could make someone vomit over and over. Even a powerful cultivation base wasn't able to stop that. Long Chen puked for over two hours. He had even puked up his bile, and tears were streaming out of his eyes. He appeared unbearably miserable. Good things can't be kept for oneself. They have to be shared with good friends. Long Chen clenched his teeth and returned to his original location where he had encountered the five flower stink spider. Even now, Long Chen couldn't help but have tears streaming down his face. The stink in this area was just too dense. It wasn't just smelly, it even provoked the eyes. Long Chen spread out his divine sense to search through the surrounding vegetation. He saw many corpses of small insects that had all been suffocated to death by that stench. Finally, he found the thing he was looking for. That was a black poison sack around the size of an egg. The five flower stink spider had two poison sacks. One would erupt along with its self-explosion. The other one was filled with its stinky fluid. That one was split into two layers. The outer layer would explode. But the inner layer was much tougher and more supple. Normally, it wouldn't easily be destroyed. And now, Long Chen did end up finding it intact. As soon as he gathered that poison sack, Long Chen immediately fled. He then once more began to retch. Although he had nothing more to vomit up, he still couldn't stop. This poison is way too abnormal. Only after a long time did Long Chen manage to suppress his urge to vomit. He arrived at a river and washed his pale face. Long Chen suddenly frowned. Huh. He walked forward 300 meters and arrived at a corpse. This is already the fourth corpse. He couldn't help sighing. From this person's robes, he could tell he was a core disciple of the righteous path. His entire body was a dark purple and he was swollen like a balloon, as if he had been about to self-detonate. His divine sense swept over the corpse and didn't find any injuries on his body, once more sweeping his spiritual strength over the corpse. He noticed the color at his neck was quite a bit darker than the other parts of his body. If there was a puncture on his neck, it'd be hard to see after all this swelling, but it seems the most likely scenario is that he was bit by a mosquito-like creature, and from his posture, it seems he collapsed extremely naturally without any struggle. His face isn't warped at all. So even when he was about to die, he didn't sense any danger. The forest of darkness really is terrifying, muttered Long Chen. 
He had been in the forest of darkness for only five days now. Not only had he gathered various precious medicinal ingredients, but he had also run into all kinds of bizarre magical beasts. They had possessed a myriad of attacking methods. It was possible something as insignificant as a small caterpillar could take his life here. This was the fourth corpse he had run into so far. Two had been righteous disciples, while two had been corrupt disciples. However, they hadn't died from fighting, but to the indigenous inhabitants of the Forest of Darkness, this person's death was especially terrifying. He hadn't sensed even the slightest bit of danger before dying. Long Chen shook his head. As fellow members of the Righteous Path, he dug a hole for him so his corpse wouldn't rot in the wilderness. It was better for the dead to rest within the earth. It was said that when a person died, their spirit, one, didn't die. This so-called spirit was a kind of hidden consciousness. It was something completely unrelated to the soul or divine sense. It was a kind of vague, almost unreal sort of thing. Once a person died, if they were buried underground, then their spirit would also be buried. It would follow the earth to enter a different world. They would be reborn in that other world. There was also another saying that when the spirit was buried, it would be absorbed by the great earth, similar to how fallen leaves return to the roots. It was a kind of cycle of life. In the end, they would be reincarnated as people. If the corpse was left in the wild, it would cause a person's soul to fly away and their spirit to scatter. They would completely vanish from the world. Long Chen had no idea whether these legends were true or not. However, he didn't care. In any case, he wouldn't just watch as a person was tossed to the side like a dead dog. After burying the person, Long Chen continued forward. Now he was even more cautious than ever. Suddenly, a distant angry roar rang out from the distance. That seemed to be the roar of a magical beast. Long Chen immediately began rushing in that direction. After hundreds of miles, Long Chen slowed down and began to stealthily approach. There was an open space ahead where angry roars were coming from. It seemed it wasn't just one magical beast. As he approached, he felt the ground constantly quivering from a battle. Only when he got even closer did he see that there were four magical beasts attacking one corrupt disciple. This corrupt disciple was on the chosen level. His aura was astonishing as he fought against four magical beasts. Of those four magical beasts, two were at the early third rank, while the other two were at the early fourth rank. They were working together extremely well as they assaulted the chosen. Of the two fourth rank magical beasts, one was a golden scaled bull. Those golden scales gave it an extremely high defensive ability. It also had two golden horns that were facing off against the chosen. The other fourth rank magical beast looked to be just a leopard. But as he stared at it, Long Chen continued to feel something was off. Only later did he notice that it seemed more like a house cat. Then when he saw that cat's tails, he finally realized it was a two-tail spirit cat. Although it wasn't specialized in defense, its attack speed was fast like the wind and as rapid as lightning. The golden scaled bull and the two-tail spirit cat were working together, one on offense and one on defense. As for the third rank magical beasts, they were just assisting from the side. The four of them had surrounded the Chosen, and loud explosions continuously shook the sky. Seeing all this, Long Chen immediately knew there had to be a beast tamer. He looked around and quickly noticed the master of these magical beasts. But when he clearly saw who that master was, Long Chen couldn't help smiling. It was surprisingly someone he hadn't seen in a long time. Lu fang -er. She was hiding behind the golden scaled bull. She was continuously forming hand seals in front of her which were most likely used to control how the magical beasts were attacking. Otherwise, those magical beasts definitely wouldn't understand how to fight with such cooperation. Boom. That Chosen suddenly let out an angry roar and his aura burst out. It seemed he had seen through their attack patterns, and he punched out at the golden scaled bull's head. This time the Chosen had truly found a good opportunity. His fist knocked that fourth rank magical beast tumbling back. After knocking back the golden scaled bull, the Chosen then dodged the two-tail spirit cat's claw, ignored the other two magical beasts, and charged straight at Lu fang -er. Seeing her strongest defense had been forced back, Lu fang -er panicked for a moment. Extending her hand, her spiritual strength surged out, and a curtain of light shot forward out of her hand. Golden wave, her golden spiritual strength surged over that Chosen. It was impossible to dodge. HMPH, I've already said that your spiritual strength is useless against me. Why don't you just obediently wait to be captured? The corrupt chosen snorted and took out a pearl. The instant the pearl appeared, it emitted a ray of light. Lu Fang'er's spiritual attack was completely blocked by the pearl. Soul-shunning pearl. 
Lu Fanger's expression changed when she recognized the item. It was definitely a treasure his sect's elders had bestowed upon him. It was specialized towards blocking soul arts. Although the energy contained within the pearl could only activate for a couple breaths of time, it would be impossible for her to prevent a Chosen from approaching her in that time. Just wait to be captured. The corrupt Chosen shouted and his aura completely locked Lu Fanger in place. A palm crashed down, sealing off any of her retreat paths. Lu Fanger was panicked inside. She was a beast tamer, and also a woman, which made her physical body weaker than average. She was essentially powerless in the face of physical attacks, especially an attack from a Chosen. This Chosen's attack was coming too quickly. Her magical beasts didn't have the time to come save her. It seemed that Chosen's palm would reach her at any moment. Why don't you try capturing me? Another large hand came from an extremely odd angle, firmly smashing into the Chosen's face. Chapter 359 A Resounding Slap in the Face Translator Born to be Pow An extremely crisp sounding and loud slap landed on the corrupt Chosen's face. It went without saying that Long Chen's face slapping technique could be rated as practically unrevealed in this world. It was at the level of having its own perfected style. Long Chen had carefully researched this skill in the past. Other than the crafty angle and easy, flowing posture, the reason his face slaps had such high hit rate was because this attack didn't contain any killing intent. If the attack's aim wasn't to kill them, then experts were unable to sense it coming as easily as they would an attack containing killing intent. This was purely an attack used to humiliate others and entertain himself. But due to its special nature, its efficacy was amazingly high. Compared to physical wounds, the wounds that were left on the mind and heart contained much greater destructive power. The corrupt Chosen hadn't even realized what was going on when he was sent flying by Long Chen's face slap. He flew through a high arc in the air, his body still rapidly whirling. He was sent flying directly towards the Golden Scaled Bull. The Golden Scaled Bull didn't even need an order. It quickly shot forward, piercing one of its horns at him. That thick golden horn heavily smashed into the corrupt Chosen's back, emitting a bang. This had happened so quickly that the Chosen had yet to even react. He hadn't even been circulating his key to protect himself. The power of that horn made him feel as if all his bones were about to break, and he vomited blood. After vomiting that mouthful of blood, it still wasn't over. He had been thrown into the air once again by that attack, and suddenly a huge figure shot towards him. That was the two-tailed spirit cat. It was extremely fast, and a pair of sharp claws shone with a cold light as they clawed down on him. After being struck by that previous horn, the corrupt Chosen had finally realized the danger he was in. He began to circulate a spiritual key, and a spear appeared in his hands, which he used to block the two-tailed spirit cat's attacks. Only now did the Chosen have a chance to see who it was that had attacked him at the beginning. But when he saw that it was Long Chen, his pupils shrank, and he didn't even hesitate. He instantly began to flee. Originally, Lu Fanger had already thought she was out of luck today. When a man had suddenly appeared in front of her, and sent that powerful Chosen flying with a single slap in the face. Then when that Chosen saw who that man was, he had clearly been terrified and immediately fled. Looking at that man's back, Lu Fanger felt a burst of familiarity. But before seeing his face, there was no way she could recognize him. How rude to leave without even saying goodbye. Little Snow, properly give him a send-off. Little Snow's huge figure appeared in front of him and he instantly opened his mouth, shooting out a wind blade. At first, that wind blade was only several feet long. However, it quickly spun like a frisbee, and by the time it had flown out hundreds of meters, it had reached a length of 300 meters. As it flew, the vegetation it passed all flew into the air behind it. The corrupt Chosen didn't dare attempt to block Little Snow's attack. He stamped down on the ground and jumped dozens of meters into the air, dodging the wind blade but he had only just dodged it when the wind whistled behind him. A deathly sensation of crisis filled him. He only had time to turn his head around. Before he could even see what was happening, his body exploded, and blood filled the air. A chosen had died just like that. Following his death, a transparent Dao mark slowly condensed in the air and flew into the heavens. Lu Fanger had seen it clearly. Little Snow had only used two attacks. The first attack had been dodged by him but the second attack had been sent out just behind the first attack. Little Snow had let out that second attack even before the corrupt Chosen had jumped. To use two attacks to instantly kill a Chosen, that was practically a divine skill. Just as Lu Fanger was still shocked over having seen a Chosen die just like that, Long Chen slowly turned his head and smiled warmly to her. Sister Fanger, 
I hope you've been well since we last met. It's you, Long Chen. Lu Fanger practically couldn't believe her eyes. She couldn't wrap her head around the fact that it was Long Chen who had appeared and sent that chosen flying. That's right. Sister Fanger, you couldn't have forgotten Junior Brother. Right. Smiled Long Chen. Long Chen still felt grateful to Lu Fanger. Back then, it had been Lu Fanger who had traveled thousands of miles to bring Little Snow to him. Although Little Snow was Menki's gift, Lu Fanger had had to fly three days without sleep or rest to bring Little Snow over. Long Chen had always remembered that favor. It really is you. Then this has to be. Heavens. How could a Scarlet Flame Snow Wolf advance to the fourth rank? Lu Fanger finally recognized Little Snow as the little fellow she had brought to Long Chen back then. Currently, Little Snow had already mutated and advanced to the fourth rank. His whole body emitted a powerful pressure. Even her fourth rank magical beasts were being well behaved in front of him. They lay on the ground, not even daring to move in his presence. He, Little Snow has also had his own opportunities. Come Little Snow, greet Sister Fanger. She was the one who traveled thousands of miles to bring you to me back then. Long Chen patted Little Snow. Little Snow's mutation was something that involved the mysterious expert from the spirit world. It wasn't that Long Chen didn't trust Lu Fanger, but some things were best left unsaid. Woo woo. Little Snow gently sniffed Lu Fanger's scent, appearing extremely intimate. He, Little Snow says he remembers your scent, explained Long Chen. It really is him. Seeing that Little Snow really was that Scarlet Flame Snow Wolf from back then, she was still filled with disbelief. She was gently rubbing Little Snow's fur when her expression suddenly changed. You didn't place a spiritual imprint. Magical beasts were all berserk existences. Without a spiritual imprint, they might rebel at any moment. Even with a spiritual imprint, no one could guarantee 100% that the magical beast wouldn't betray its master. She had already noticed that Long Chen had summoned Little Snow out of his spiritual space. That kind of spiritual fluctuation was something she was all too familiar with. And so she instantly realized Long Chen was relying purely on a mental connection with him. He had established a trust with this Scarlet Flame Snow Wolf and could communicate with him through their souls. However, this kind of relationship was far too dangerous. If Little Snow one day rebelled and attacked Long Chen, he would definitely die. That was why Lu Fanger was so frightened. Long Chen shook his head and patted Little Snow's large head. Little Snow isn't my husband. He's my partner. A partner I can trust with my life. Woo woo. Little Snow gently cried out. His eyes filled with warmth. He rubbed his head against Long Chen. Feeling this close trust between Long Chen and Little Snow. Lu Fanger's eyes involuntarily reddened slightly. Her powerful spiritual strength allowed her to sense the relationship Little Snow had with Long Chen. As a beast tamer, magical beasts were not just her tools for battle, but they were also her comrades. However, magical beasts were just too berserk. There was no way to get along with them. She could only use her powerful spiritual strength to enslave them, or there would be a constant threat of death from keeping them around her. You really are too similar to Menki. Menki is planning on finding some powerful magical beasts from this secret realm, and so while she was still outside, she actually released her original magical beasts. Sighed Lu Fanger. Ah, then without magical beasts to protect her, isn't she in danger? Beast tamers without magical beasts were like snails without shells. They would become far too frail. That was especially dangerous within the Jiuli secret realm where dangers popped up left and right. It is very dangerous, but you don't need to be worried. Menki's spiritual strength is incomparably powerful. It's no problem for her to protect herself. Comforted Lu Fanger. Long Chen was relieved to hear her say that. Lu Fanger and Men Qi were like sisters, and she wouldn't trick him about this. But you, Long Chen, you really have caused me to see you in a new light. In just over a year, you've actually advanced to the Tendon Transformation Realm. Even Chosen are not your match and can be easily killed. You really advanced quickly. Lu Fanger looked Long Chen up and down, filled with admiration. He, that Chosen's death was just Little Snow's achievement. And since you brought Little Snow to me, this is really all Sister Fanger's achievement, laughed Long Chen. Aya, this tongue of yours. During this time, you probably once more swindled quite a few women to your side, laughed Lu Fanger. Of course not. Long Chen laughed awkwardly. In truth, Men Qi has always been paying close attention to you. Within the Wind Spirit Pavilion, she constantly secretly gathered news of you. Eventually she learned you had joined the Zhuanshan Monastery. Later on. A couple things happened on our side and we stopped receiving news of you. 
I really never would have thought that you would grow so much in the Zhuanchen Monastery during this time, said Lu Fanger. Back in Phoenix Cry, Long Chen had been but a small rookie at the Qi Condensation Realm. Comparing to Men Qi, it really was a case of one being high in the heavens while the other was stuck on the ground. But in just over a year, Long Chen had grown to the level where even Lu Fanger had to look up to him. Hearing that Men Qi cared so deeply about him, Long Chen's heart was filled with warmth. So she had always been thinking about him. However, Long Chen, it seems you've offended someone powerful. There's people who are constantly spreading a photographic jade of you, said Lu Fanger. Long Chen's expression darkened. Those idiots really had too much energy. They wanted him to be completely defamed, making it impossible for him to ever clear his name. They're all just a bunch of idiots playing a shameless game. Long Chen told Lu Fanger about what had happened and what he had learned. In truth, considering how the photographic jades had cut off the beginning and ending of what had happened, anyone with half a mind would be able to tell that there was some secret behind the scenes. But the righteous path was filled with too many idiots. There were a few idiots who were even stupider than the rest and who were secretly adding fuel to the fire. The problem was only getting bigger. Nowadays, the entire righteous path had learned that Long Chen was a brazen sex fiend and that they were to capture or kill him. How could that Yun Wushuang be so vicious? She's trying to make your reputation sink and then kill you as a stepping stone for someone else. Lu Fanger was filled with rage when she learned the truth. A stepping stone? He. Then maybe I'll try being a stepping stone once. Who will dare come try to step on me? A ruthless light shone in Long Chen's eyes. Long Chen, you're in an unresolvable trap. You're being too passive about it. Lu Fanger was worried. Long Chen had already stepped into someone else's scheme. He would be chased by the entire righteous path. And he wouldn't even be able to retaliate. Or that would sink him even deeper into their trap. He wouldn't even have a chance to clear his name. I've already found a way to resolve my matters. So don't worry. Sister Fanger. Can you tell me a bit about Feng Xiaoz Z? Chapter 360 Men Qi Situation Translator Born to be you know Feng Xiaoz Z. Lu Fanger was startled. Of course. I made some inquiries. Replied Long Chen. Who did you ask? Senior apprentice brother Qi. You ended up running into him. Ah. Did you end up killing him? Long Chen hurriedly shook his head. How could a kind-hearted person like me so easily take a life? No matter what. He is from the same sect as Sister Fanger. How could I have the heart to kill him? Not only did I not kill him, I also gave him an unforgettable experience. He, two naked men in close quarters like that, who knows what kind of story will unfold. If the two end up igniting a spark of passion in that space, then that would at least be a bit interesting. However, Long Chen had already broken their limbs, because of his special methods, and because they didn't have any medicinal pills, it would require at least three months for them to recover. He had also fed them special medicinal pills. If they tried to open their mouths, then the vibration of their vocal cords would cause their key and blood to flow in reverse. In less than two hours, their bodies would explode. He had already warned them about that, and they were also experts who were capable of sensing the truth. They definitely wouldn't dare yell for others to come save them. They could only obediently wait there. Long Chen was planning on going back to properly sort them out once his matters were finished. That was because he felt that killing those two dregs so easily would be too regretful. Then that really is unfortunate. Why wouldn't you kill such a revolting fellow? I feel like vomiting whenever I look at him, said Lu Fanger regretfully. Does he have enmity with you? It can't be said to be enmity. It's just that he's a loyal lapdog of Feng Xiao Z. He's always been monitoring my and Men Qi's actions. Long Chen, back when Men Qi went to break off her engagement to you. She lied when she said she was resentful towards her parents' orders. In truth, she wanted to help your long family. Ever since she joined the Wind Spirit Pavilion, the pavilion master took extra care of her due to her talent. He took her in as an apprentice and went all out to raise her. Furthermore, the pavilion master's son, Feng Xiao Zi, also possesses an incredibly rare talent. His soul root has reached the high earth class. His soul root is even slightly stronger than Men Qi's soul root. Long Chen knew this so-called soul root was just a way to evaluate the talent of soul cultivators. It was an evaluation based on the purest soul energy within their mind. See, back in Phoenix Cry, Grand Master Yun Qi had personally appraised Long Chen, but the testing instrument had been extremely crude, and Long Chen had also hidden his skills. Back then, Grand Master Yun Qi had thought that Long Chen's soul aptitude had reached the Zuan class. However, as for what level his soul had truly reached, Long Chen didn't know. 
as he had never had a chance to test it. Lu Fang'er continued. So Feng Xiaozi and Men Qi are the strongest members of their generation in our Wind Spirit Pavilion, and they've been called. Cough. Well, they're the ones our Wind Spirit Pavilion goes all out to groom. One day, the pavilion master got drunk and told Men Qi that he hoped for her and Feng Xiaozi to become partners once they reached the Xianchen realm. Men Qi replied that she wasn't planning on becoming partners with anyone, which was the first time she had ever refused her master's wishes. The pavilion master was displeased to say the least. Although he never displayed it, Menki could clearly sense it. Later, Feng Xiaozi repeatedly came to express his goodwill to her, but he was refused by Menki every time. After being nagged for so long, Menki finally said she was already engaged and hoped for them to drop the matter. But who would have thought? Feng Xiaozi didn't give up, and instead stealthily sent people to Menki's family to investigate that engagement. One day, Menki heard that there was someone secretly reporting on every single one of your movements within Phoenix Cry. In fact, Feng Xiaozi was even planning on secretly eliminating you, along with your entire long family, all so that Menki would no longer have an excuse to refuse him. That bastard, Long Chen couldn't hold back any longer, and dense killing intent surged out of him, instantly chilling the air. Lu Fang Er sighed. I didn't know about this back then. Menki only told me the whole story afterwards. She said she was truly sorry towards you, feeling as if she had deeply wounded you. However, she couldn't tell you her own difficulties for fear of implicating your entire long family. The fact that you actually straightforwardly handed over the marriage contract, and instead of blaming her, you actually consoled her, taking pity on her, made Menki cry several times after she returned. Later, when I brought back that medicinal pill you gave her, she didn't hesitate at all to consume it. When I asked her why she would just directly consume it without investigating what it was first, why she wasn't afraid of the results, do you know what she said? She said she trusted you completely. Now Long Chen truly felt ashamed of himself. He had never dreamed that there were so many secrets revolving around why Men Qi had withdrawn from their engagement. Previously, he had been greatly impacted by Men Qi's beauty, infatuated with her immortal, fairy-like temperament, and adored that perfect charm of hers but it seemed he had forgotten that no matter how beautiful the woman, she still needed to be cherished. Now that he learned how much Menki was carrying on her shoulders, he was filled with pity and self-blame. Compared to Menki, he had been far too selfish. In truth, I shouldn't have said so much. I know you would give up anything for Menki. The only thing I wanted you to know is that even Menki is in a pitiful situation. Within the entire Wind Spirit Pavilion, she has no one she can rely on. All her grievances and helplessness can only be hidden inside her heart. Only I know all her sufferings, but I also don't have the power to help her. But I know that Menki does love you. I've seen her secretly staring at that comic of you in Phoenix cry several times. Sometimes she would be both crying and smiling all by herself. Although I don't know exactly what happened between the two of you when you were alone, I know that you are in Menki's heart. However, it is precisely because she loves you that she is in even greater pain. She is helpless. She likes you, but she doesn't dare accept you. Do you understand? Lu Fang'er couldn't hold back her tears any longer. Thank you Sister Fang'er. I will definitely get stronger so I can help resolve Menki's predicaments. I swear, I will let Menki become a free woman who won't suffer from any restrictions. Swore Long Chen. Lu Fang'er wiped away her tears and nodded. Originally, I shouldn't have said these things to you, but seeing your combatability as well as your rate of growth. I can finally feel some hope for her. Perhaps in this world, you're the only one who can change Menki's fate. Perhaps this was all set up by the will of the heavens. Menki went to withdraw from your engagement, but you didn't resent her at all and instead consoled her. What kind of fool would do something like that? I suppose I'll take that as praise. Long Chen forced a smile. Lu Fang'er laughed. Of course it's praise. If you hadn't done that, how could you have left such a deep impression on Menki? Although she is considered a heavenly genius in the Wind Spirit Pavilion, everyone in that nasty living environment is selfish. You were the first person who was so kind to her. If it were me, I think I'd also be emotionally moved by you. Although Long Chen did his best to control his face, he still felt as if his cheeks were burning so hotly he could easily fry an egg on them. He had simply put on a miserable act back then because he hadn't been able to control himself in the face of Menki's beauty. And yet, even Lu Fang'er had been moved by it. Long Chen truly felt as if he were becoming more and more reprehensible. Is it because I'm getting infected by Guo Ran? 
But it seems that at that time, I didn't know him yet. Was I contaminated through the air? Long Chen, I know this will put a lot of pressure on you, but Men Qi is truly too pitiful. I hope you can help save her. Lu Fanger pulled on Long Chen's arm. Even if I have to give up my life, I will definitely save Men Qi. My woman definitely can't be bullied by anyone. Although such words were a bit vulgar, and a bit domineering, they were an extremely trustworthy promise in Lu Fanger's ears. It gave her a strong sense of security. Is that crazy brat? One, very powerful? Will he go crazy and start biting people? Asked Long Chen. Crazy brat? Feng Xiao Zi. Hearing that, Lu Fanger laughed and winked at Long Chen. You really are good at coming up with nicknames. If he heard that, he would definitely die from fury. But after laughing, Lu Fanger once more became serious. Feng Xiao Zi is the pavilion master's son, and his cultivation base has reached the ninth vestige of tendon transformation. As for his spiritual strength, it is as vast as a sea, and he has opened six spiritual spaces for six powerful fourth-rank magical beasts. Furthermore, he himself is proficient in soul arts. Although he is the son of the pavilion master, he actually went through even harsher training than others, and he has never tasted defeat Charing against someone in the same realm. Some time before entering the secret realm, he compared notes with your Zhuanshan Supermonastery's top expert's brother, Han Xianfeng. However, the two of them were clearly holding back, and they ended up in a draw. However, it was said that Feng Xiaozi had already forced Han Xianfeng into a disadvantage. He only stopped to give face. I don't know the exact details, but I am sure that at that time, neither of them went all out, and yet their auras were so powerful that they made it so even other chosen had difficulty breathing. Long Chen, if you want to pursue Men Qi, then you'll definitely have to face off against Feng Xiaozi one day. You can't be careless, as he really is terrifyingly powerful. Long Chen nodded. The fact that he could fight to a tie with Han Xianfeng was enough to prove that he was truly powerful. Long Chen had been shocked by Han Xianfeng's skills back when he had fought the barbaric wind beast. But if he was only on the same level as Han Xianfeng, Long Chen wouldn't fear him. As long as he wasn't on the same level as his brother Han Xianai or Yin Luo, he wouldn't be a problem. That was because Long Chen hadn't felt the mountain-like pressure from Han Xianfeng that he had felt from Han Xianai and Yin Luo. Although he had advanced to the Tendon Transformation Realm, he still had no assurance in being able to match Yin Luo and Han Xian Ayu. Yin Luo was able to control natural energy, a power that could destroy the world. He wasn't someone an ordinary person could block. As for Han Xian Ayu, since he was as equally famous as Yin Luo, he also had to have his own shocking trump cards. Although he didn't know what they were, Long Chen was sure that Han Xian Ayu was not weaker than Yin Luo. Currently, Long Chen was most worried about Yun Luo's ability to control natural energy. That was especially true since Yun Luo's cultivation base was so powerful. Fighting head-on with him was definitely a bad idea. Up to now, other than those two, Long Chen was sure he could defeat Chering and Ion else here. That's right. A couple days ago, I ran into a heaven-shaking battle. Suddenly brought up Lu Fang'er. 